Crazy aka Wine Best Live sign in, and this is going to be game one of Aces High versus Red Alert. I'm joined in TeamSpeak and in the lobby by Helvada Kano. You're, you're not muted now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right, there we go. Uh, for Nexus. Hola. And QQQ. Hello. All right, so this should be a. We're hoping this will be a very interesting match. We got a. Uh, Ooh, aces are already ready, so this should not be taking too long. Red alert, uh, don't know how long that will be. Looks like aces is asking for a, a relog here. Yeah, they, they're gonna have to get someone in and out. I, I don't know who, though. I don't know why Dead Knight doesn't have the same avatar, right? So it's, it's all the same avatars for red alert, and then you go aces, 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 and then Dead Knight. <laughs> It's the lobby, it's the lobby metagame, man. Now, do you think as soon as the game starts, the Russians will PP? <laughs> uh, I mean, they haven't even readied yet, so I don't know why they would <laughs> PP at, at, at that point. Uh, I, I've been watching all their games, and so far they're 10, and, uh, 10, 10 for 10 <laughs> in terms of the, the PP well, within the first five minutes of the game, yes. That is interesting. That is interesting, now is it, too. I haven't seen a lot of their games. Do they do that uh, before and the teams meet, or do they do it after a short engagement? No, like, he, I think he's saying at the very, very start of the game. Like, I think oh, there's like always, the like, just a there's little bit of PP. late. Like, they always have just a little bit of latency that they're dealing with. That's why I was wondering if, if it's a strategy thing or if it's a latency thing. I, I, I would have to think it's a latency thing. <laughs> Helveticus, what do you think? I think it could be a strategy thing. They just want a couple of seconds to uh, determine if there's any advantage they can get. Oh, yeah. Maybe they always... I mean, it could be that they actually look at the map and are like, are we going to change, you know, a open based on the number of clouds or on the formation of rocks? Yeah, absolutely. A couple of the different maps have uh, different layouts that could be better for different ships, different compositions. I mean, your, your dread opening very easily could change, you know, do you get charge or do you not get charge? Well, sometimes it depends on the clouds, right? Well, that's now, a good point, too. Maybe they don't change their count, maybe they change their upgrades. Yeah, that's, I don't, I don't think you, you go into a game thinking you're going to have entirely different ships than what you discussed in the lobby. Yeah, so it looks like Fig Jam is the one who has to, to reconnect here. So, um... We do have Sonya in here, and so Aces High has to be looking at this lobby and saying, okay, well, they got Sonya in here. <laughs> right? So, I mean, you can almost guess, like, I don't know, at least two or three of the ships. So, Sonya can run BC. You know, Sonya, Sonya can do a fine BC, but really, Sonya is most notorious for one ship and one ship only. And that ship is the Void Ray. Am I right? So, what are the lineups here for, dun, dun, dun. The, uh, for the first match? What are we, who do we have playing? Well, we have well for the red alerts, you got Sonya, yeah, the, the, you know, the, I would assume they're best players. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have uh, Fast Forward. I don't know, I, I don't think Fast Forward gets in every single match, right? Really, I feel like Yvonne, Amigo, Yvonne and Amigo, I think, are like two of their most consistent, and then maybe Severf and Hawk is, Hawk is missing. Yeah, Hawk and Fast Forward. Yeah, no, I saw Hawk on earlier, so I think he's around. Maybe he, they might switch him out for game two. I, I, I see Hawk. He's online. He's actually playing a, a pub game. <laughs> yeah. I, I think they're going to sit this one out then. Just, uh, you they know, get... if, if, if Hawk is sitting out, I Kip mean, players. Hawk is their Raven player. I'm assuming they're going to put a different ship in there instead of a Raven. Maybe an Arb instead. Uh, an Arb player. Hey, Crazy, what's the delay on the stream? We're not seeing anything. Yeah, it will start in 35 seconds. Okay, thanks, man. Mine is live, but I'm going to cut it before the game starts, as soon as the game starts. Okay, I'll let everyone else know. I have so many chats. Yeah, and the players in the lobby uh, prepping for the game by showing off the different uh, emojis they have. User left your channel. Well, and who uh, do we Ace have here for Aces High? Right, for Aces High, we have, well, I mean, uh, we have Fig Jam relogging. 
And we have Abra, Crackshot, Red Dog, Delta Knight, and Dead Knight. And I mean, I mean, in my heart of hearts, truly, I'm hoping we sell, see Delta Nine's Void Ray versus Sonya White's Void Ray, right? That, that's that's what I would like to see. I don't know that's that's what they're gonna run, but that would, that would be probably really give me the most amusement. Will we see VR versus VR in this late late stage of the tournament? It'd be nice to see. It, it really would be nice to see a VR versus VR that would last about an hour long. Yeah. Uh, right? If you had to see that. I mean, you no, know, Ace Side, they, they, they're they already thinking, you know, Red Alert, their signature ship is a VR, right? Um, right but they don't, they do don't think, have to run VR, though, right? They I mean, don't that's. Have to. There was but, a game or two where Sonya ran a BC or a Dreadnought. I mean, there's there's really a lot of mind games going on <laughs> before the game starts. They're predicting, they're trying to predict what the other uh, uh, party is going, and I think well, that's really one of the uh, interesting thing, interesting parts of this game is predicting what your opponent's gonna go. Sever and Ivan, both tank players. Sever has only played Dreadnought so far. Uh, Ivan can run Dread, and he can also run Colossus. He tends to really like his, his mid lane Colossus, and he really likes his side lane Dread, so he, he can go either one. Both of them very dangerous players. Amigo Deer, I think, usually runs Ovi. Yep, only only Overlord so far this tournament. Um, so I think he's basically an Overlord specialist. Yeah. And but I, it's good to have an Overlord really, specialist. Yeah. Um, I don't really see any reason why they would put Sefer on a different ship. I mean, Desi's his best ship, and I would want him to be playing Desi if I was a captain. Oh yeah, definitely. And the same with Sonya White. You know, why would I take away his um, his uh, best ship? Boy, great. Well, I think yes. it only goes back to like what you said is the mind games, right? So you put Sonya in the lobby, and then you stick him on a different ship, not Void, because you, the other team is going to try to counter a Void, and all of a sudden he's not on it. Yeah, I mean, that was like against Telos, right? I mean, Pronexus, that was against you. They, it seemed like you committed to two BCs partly anticipating Sonya on Void Ray. And it didn't run it, and then they had the stronger late game comp just with Amigo Deer on Overlord. Back to I mean, those mind games. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, and I think that game three against Telos versus Red, Red Al, I mean, I don't know how what to say about that third game, right? They, we went carrier. They went void ray. They stuck with their void ray comp, and they won. Yeah, but I think it was it was actually game one, right? That's when you ran the two BCs, wasn't it? Or am I misremembering? Uh, I think game one we ran. Uh, you know, I don't quite remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you ran two BCs, and that's when we saw Sonya on BC. Well, how about the Aces team? They've got Fig Jam, right? Fig Jam has only played Colossus. He's, and then yes. crack shot. Cool. He's played Overlord mainly. Here's what about the other guys there? So Jim finally getting back in the lobby, so we might get going here soon. Look, I, I just know for a fact, Ace aside, they're gonna have Abra on support. Or I mean, I'm sorry, Red Dog on support. Yeah. To say Aces throughout the tournament, they've actually run every single ship, haven't they? Yeah, That's they have. They're one of the few teams who have actually done that. It's hard to determine then. They, they really mixed it up, right? Yeah, they went from three tanks to Void Ray to Carrier, even. Did they have they gone Carrier? They have. Now, Helv, you know the stats of the tournament better than anybody, I think. It hasn't. Aces High has never lost a ship in this tournament, is that correct? That's right. They've only won. They've only lost one tower. They lost a tower to Salvo Valeo. Wow. <laughs> in the group so. stage. <laughs> That's quite a stat. That's quite a stat to try to maintain versus Red Alert, who's a solid yeah, team. Definitely. They did They did play Red Alert already, but the game was kind of a wash. Uh, it was a rundown in the first push, or in the second push, Aces caught two or three ships, and it looked like Red Alert really didn't care about the game that much. They were just getting it out of the way. Or else they made a big mistake and then just kind of brushed it under the rug. Was that in the qualifiers, or...? Yeah, yeah, in the qualifiers. Okay. Stage. So we have readies from both teams. So uh, who wants to, to call our, our top right team? And let the countdown begin. Yes, here we go. Let the games begin. 
I can call up the top right for you. I'll queue him up. All right. Well, well, the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics, the North Americans, will soon find out. Yes. Red Alert currently Robert. playing from Eastern Ukraine. Uh, and, and not all of the Ace Attire are uh, North America. I think Big Jam hails from Australia, doesn't he? Well, I think they all came from the same place. Ah, oh, okay. Didn't we all? <laughs> so, wait. That's deep. That's, that's deep for the loading screen. That's <laughs> loading. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little philosophical here. <laughs> we're now in the semifinals. Alright, so in the bottom left we have Red Alert, and we do indeed have Sonya White going Voidway. Yes. Uh, Nova opening, Severf going uh, Hull, 1-1 one, one on Armor and Gats, Yvonne going 4-3 Colossus Standard, Animosis going Range Missiles, Amigo Deer going Plague, and Sonic going Imp. And what do we have from the top right? We have a Levy, so there you go. they did not worry about the Voidway versus Levy, so we got Levy with Constant. Red Dog is correct on the support, he's feedback. We have Plague on the Overlord is crack shot. Big Jam, also like we called in the lobby, 4-3 Colossus. Abra on Destro in the center with Hull and three armor, but he's only 1-5. And then on the bottom, they put uh, their Raven down on the bottom. Maybe they did end this big boy Raven because he, they have an EMP Raven on the side lane. Your That's right, we have two support versus the Void Ray. And they sent their Raven right down on the side just off the get-go, just anticipating that Void. We do have one more tank from Aces High, right? This is a three tank comp versus a two tank comp and a Void yeah, Ray. Yeah, so interesting, Aces manages to pull three tanks and still has three supports. Pretty balanced. Although yeah. no, no kiting ships. No, no, no kiting, no, no missile boats for these guys. Oh no. Yeah, no heavy damage. No, they're, they're, uh, they're happy with this cloud in the middle to help them hold that. I think it's interesting that both threads went hull. It seems like you know, a lot of the time you'll want the side lane dread to, to go charges, but it, it seems like a lot of people have actually been running hull lately. Um, trying to just maneuver around charges and ultimately stay ahead in the, the long run. But Aces is uh, the making them play on the bottom, you know, the, they're confident that they can hold the cloud and send Abra down to pressure the void. But Red Alert sent uh, the Polo down to help cover that. But I think this is this is what you see out of a void ray comp, right? You get you get pressure early. Yeah, and even though they have pressure early, the farm is still equal at three minutes. So their red alert is like, yes, we we haven't pushed to the halfway mark, but this is not a problem. We're still fine. Uh, this is this is looking like it will not be your average in-house that ends yeah. after five minutes. And, and what did I tell you guys? I mean, meet Sonya White, pulling void ray. And, uh... Separate staying as Frig. They, they gotta be playing their best ships. Sonia went back to get some quick upgrades, grabbed Blink and 4 Beam. 400 energy already, so really an early game focus on Nova and constant creep control. Yeah, he'd already managed to put together 100 farm pretty quickly. He was the first player to break 100 farm. So uh, he was yeah, able to. And even with that early back, he's still the highest farm on the map, and he's maintaining that. And, and the highest form on Ace's high side is Dead Knight the Raven. And I think what Aces are trying to do, they're trying to make sure their support is strong against the Void Ray. They have a lot of energy denial and, and perhaps d -band, early d and Blackout. Yeah, I think that Aces are probably thinking, fine, you run your Void, we're going to run our Raven. He's going to beat you. So we'll see how that plays out. So we have ships coming out. Uh, not a lot of particularly shocking upgrades so far. Mostly just energy and, and other normal yes. upgrades. And, you know, surprisingly, I'm not used to seeing this, but Ace is high, they're behind in farm. I'm not used to seeing that. And usually it's Ace is high who would take farm lead in the first 10 minutes. Right. Well, I mean, we, we're still not to the 10 minute mark, so we'll, we'll have to see what happens. No, so. you know, I mean, typically, you know, I should have 
the, the party, the, the side with the void rave would have the least farm. Lesser farm. Yeah, that would be their thought, right? You, you would think that the, the triple tank think. comp would push in a little right. bit harder. Yeah, I agree. I agree. With three tanks, you would expect that to bully a void exactly. rave comp. Yvonne coming up with seven shields, and we go here at 375 energy, several charges, and uh, bots. Sanic, 425 energy. And Sonya now also picking up Cloak. The other side, though, for Red Alert, you would, uh, you'd also expect a Raven Arb comp to be a little bit less farm, too. So it kind of goes both ways, which is probably why we see them almost exactly even here in seven minutes. Both teams pushing on the opposing siege creep. Pace is high, still managing to hold a forward position here. They've won the cloud and they're on the far side of their own cloud, of the mid cloud, rather. Look at the crack shots of Mark. He just took off in terms of farm lead for the ace high side. So, in terms of just little, those little upgrades that make a difference, is a uh, crack shot on his first back did not pick up uh, Plague Extension, whereas Amigo Deer did. You know, Nobody was Sa really denying the void here. And the, I and see Sonya now yeah, back power farming. farming. Yeah, back farming in it. You know, I'm checking his team. None of them have warp, so this is not for a kill. This is just for farm. That's how you do it, Sonya. Keep that back farming. He manages to pull Aces back here. They've got to go Hello. back and prevent him from, from pre-farming the tower. Right. I think I'm actually a, burning in the middle from those plagues. It has a special, that, that Void Ray play has a special place in uh, Pornexus's heart. Void Ray's like. Well, it worked out for them, right? They have to respect that he's farming there. They have and, to back and, off. Right, and he's not just any ordinary Void Ray that you can just let back farm. He's going to back farm and put every minerals to use. So Red Alert has managed to push Aces back here, and Aces has gone back as a team to upgrade, giving Red Alert a chance to farm and then go back. Even with Red Alert's extensive farm lead, I think one thing I'd be concerned with if I was on their team is how User low my Raven is. My Raven is a bit under farmed for 10 minutes into the game. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't okay. call this an, extension, an extensive farm lead at, at just 200. I mean, that's actually yeah. quite normal. I guess that's true. However, I, I guess extensive considering they have a void ray. But um, I guess my point was try to prioritize some farm on your raven. Yeah, absolutely. That because you need you're gonna need the early blackout really for both teams, right? Although blackout. Interesting. even blackout though wouldn't you know, do anything against the Leviathan frenzied. Well, as I say, Red, uh, Red Alert or Red Alert a Aces High has put their Ovi on the side and the Levy on the side, so they're two. Um, their two ships that they're prioritizing farm are not going to be affected by blackout. Now, looking at Red Alert's Raven, um, I believe if, you know, Sonic should, shouldn't be playing blackout just yet because Sonya doesn't have much to use at the moment. Yeah, that's true. Although, Sonya does have 9 radius on the blink range. Yeah, well, Sonya's like up, up to yeah. 17. And 0.29 beam speed. He put a lot of uh, a lot of investment into that, and it can do a lot of damage if a ship is left alone. So both OBs on both teams have siphon now. And and Crackshot picked up siphon. Still no uh, plague extension. I think that's interesting, especially you know when he's sometimes laning against the spread. Here's Delta, one-on-one -on -one against the Void in the bottom right corner. He's going to take a lot of damage quickly, even though he has, he has regen. But, uh, I yeah, think he, that... may, he may feel safe, but one-on-one, -on -one, this is not a good matchup for him. No, not at all. He, he feels safe in the beginning when his health is high, but once the regen eats all his energy and he's down to half health, it's kind of scary. The beam does a lot of damage. Yeah, I think he Even started to realize that. He started to realize that. Use the rocks to his advantage there. Oh, and there's some some farm leaking down there. The siege creep in the middle, pushing back the uh, against the cloud. So a uh, contentious kind of fight over this cloud at this point. 
Raven coming down to help. Night. Raven versus Raven. Nice. Oh, he's got nice EMP. EMP, see, I think they could turn there and give some shields to the Void and repressure that levy. Yes, we can call. Uh, so I think if I were standing, I would be uh, there they go. refreshing him. Replenishing him. Oh, and there's the EMP. Oh, he got the. He did get the uh, regen off. He's just dying double here. That probably saved him. That that regen probably yeah, saved him there. There is a D map. And they're gonna get some damage on Sonya. Oh, he's close. Sonya. Oh, wow. That's, Delta that's does. Nine, okay, eight, Delta seven. has one more region. 700 oh, life, yeah. 800. 700. It's holding at 900. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, wow. Sonya's gonna have to yeah. back off here. I think that regen saved him. That, that uh, EMP from Sanic was a little bit delayed, probably because of uh, Sanic's speed. Well, he's 1 8, but still. And that, that, that takes brass balls to uh, go in there like that. And they pause. Yeah. That, I mean, I mean, Delta Nine had enough for an EMP. Um, I, I was expecting an EMP out of De uh, Dead Knight. I'm sorry. Um, well, why did he pause here? Do you think he shit himself? Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> gotta, gotta clean the trousers. <laughs> that's a that's a great speculation. <laughs> we should probably get confirmation of that. <laughs> I mean, he did. That regen saved him. He he got out of there with 800 HP total. Like he bottomed out at 800 HP. So him popping that regen before he got EMP'd. Saved that levy. So just a oh, few nice. notes here. Any Moses does have scans. So Verf picked up protective field, amigo deer, uh, 400 energy, five mutas, plague extension, and siphon with uh, 18 range on mutas. And Sanic is still purely on imp. Um, I mean, one we haven't seen a large number of arbiters this uh, tournament. Do you feel like the red dog arbiter is? Are they getting the value out of it so far? Do, and do you think they will have time to get a good development? That's the question. Will they have time? I think the Arbiter is strong, but it, the difference is it's stronger later on because its spells are more offensive, right? With boost and... Yeah, it's, um, it's really this... It's the, the 10 to 20 minute range that things are most dangerous, right? Be, because it really can't do anything to help a Leviathan in, in exactly that situation, right? It's the, the focused protection of a single Zerg unit where the, the Arbiter most struggles. That's true, however, after the, he gets enough farm, I don't know what his spells are at right now, but against a Void Ray, Cloak is also very strong. So you, when you have an Arbor who can cloak your bio units, that can save them from a Void Ray beam, especially with the, the tandem Cloak and EMP. So I think that the fact that the Levy got away there is actually very strong for Ace's High. Well, I guess that's, that's kind of a, a given, right? They don't want to lose their side lane ship. But I also mean that he got away when they didn't have all the spells to take care of him yet. So it's only going to get better for them. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so the game has resumed now, and Aces is coming out. Crack shot 525 energy. And Abra protect the field. Red Dog has now picked up Cloak, so that there will be more responses should the Void Ray get on someone again. Delta 9 has recharge and acid spray so that he can hit those cloaked units such as a Void Ray. And Fig Jam also picked up Thermal Lance. Port Alert now going back to base to stay safe and get their own ups. Sonya now coming out with 8 beam, 0.25 weapon speed, 6 shields, and 500 energy. Severf is up to just getting some farming ups with his life. Five armor, two gaps. Animosis locked down, of course. Ivan, I don't think, has actually gone back. He's making sure he holds that tower. They don't manage to pick anything off, surprisingly, here. And Amigo Deer coming out with a 1,630 damage side blast uh, and 425 energy. So, really, a big difference in energy amounts between the two Zerg ships. And at the 16 minute mark, Crack still doesn't go for the Plague Extension. So, I think he just. He just doesn't want the Plague Extension at this point. Uh, is that your sense of it as well? It seems like Red Alert has really focused on energy deny early. They want to maintain a good energy deny across the board, and especially against Sonya White and the Void Ray. So in that sense, it looks like they'll keep investing in that. I mean, you can see Crack has 625 or 525 energy, and he's mainly just energy denying. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's another thing here to consider is that 
Asus High doesn't have like a battle cruiser, right? There's, there's no lockdown, so the Siphon really is one of really the most important energy deny ability here because it's the only thing that can keep the Dreadnought low enough to avoid the protective field, and it's the only thing way that they're really going to control the Void Ray as the game gets to the late game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if Red Dog had it before, but he does have Cloak now, and he's also 1-9 to give him the ability to stay away from damage while he's cloaking his teammate. Interesting that Animosis and Ivan are both relatively underfarmed. Across the board, Red Alert has more more uh, ships that are underfarmed and way overfarmed, whereas Aces are more even across the board in terms of farm. There's more disparity in Red Alert. In terms yeah, of uh, that's true. Although the the team sort of still, I mean, there's a little bit of a lead for Aces, but it's still a very very close game here. Oh yeah. And I really like the fact that Sandy and the Red Lords are even. They didn't buy a blackout just yet. And I think they're going to buy a blackout when they're really comfortable for a kill. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, back to you, Crazy, uh, I think Crackshot has picked up Plague Extension now. I'm going to check his. Yes, he, he's just now recently picked it up. You're absolutely right. So it must have been really just the early emphasis on yep. the siphon, making sure you could consistently cast the Siphon from far enough away and have the energy to just keep casting it over and over on those Dreadnoughts. And he's also 1-9, so I'm not sure how often he incorporates that into his build, but it may be a a, a, a consequence of having a Void Ray on the other team. And uh, Red Alert's Raven is 2.02. You know, I've seen Aces go higher than 2 0 2 on the Raven when I play Void Ray against them. And I think all that Void Ray play against me uh, prepare them for this very moment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just their guinea pig this entire time. Yeah. Sorry, just a clarification. Aces Raven is 2.02, .02 and uh, Red Alerts is still 1.81. Cynic don't need no speed. <laughs> no, and I, and I will rolls. say too, the Sanic has done a good job catching up in farm. At, at one point, he was very, very under farmed, and he's done a good job catching back up with everybody. Still cloak feedback out of Red Alert's Arbiter. Hardened Shields and Lance. On the Red Alert's on Big Jam, on Red Alert's Colossus. We now have Lockdown on Animosis. He didn't have it before, he has it now. Oh, we, we had it on the last pack, so he didn't just now pick it up. Okay. Did. But yeah. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, Red Dog did, did also at some point pick up one eight, 180 on the shield region. It looks like um, Sanya now has double charge. And Sanic has just picked up Blackout. Double charge and 11 beam. The Void Ray is getting very dangerous. Now, do you, th do you guys think he's, he has Argus Crystal by now when he's at 0.25? You know, I, I still can't do the math on the Argus Crystal. <laughs> you can check, I think you can check uh, upgrades and see. So let's tell, I can tell you. You can click on the upgrades tab. Yep, yeah, uh, he's got it. It looks like uh, yep. good. Look at this guy's that bottom right. Bit yeah, that's 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 him. very dangerous for the Raven to, to chase the a uh, Void Ray like that. Without blackout, especially. I mean, if I was a levy, I would not feel real comfortable versus a double charge eleven beam, point two five speed right now. Yeah, one one imp does not remove Sonya as a threat, right? And how about one that misses like that? Yeah, especially when <laughs> when it misses. Depending range on how his middle nine. is doing, that levy could be in trouble here. Uh, Regen on, on Delta 9 on. is up to 2,500, so very heavy emphasis on the, the health regeneration. No yeah, Void Ray beaming down, at least not at this stage. I, th I think that that was a chance at least for a little bit of a push when, the, when, um, when Dead Knight missed that EMP, but I think also Red Alert's pretty, pretty known for not overextending, which is what made that, a, that first engagement pretty exciting. Yeah, here we saw Aces hold a very forward position for a couple of minutes while Red Alert 
relatively stronger, just kind of sat back, let Aces expend their energy and uh, hit a couple of plagues. Now they pushed across the map. Aces with counter push here, but they're really not strong enough and they don't have a whole lot of energy in their in their tank there in the middle. No, they're both empty. I'm watching the bottom and Dead is really chasing and guarantee or guarantee like really counting on the fact that he's gonna land that EMP. I guess his team is pushing right now, but Sonya White's full energy and he misses that EMP, I think that Raven would have been in trouble. But the, the Raven wants to keep denial on the on the void ray, right? Where else do you want oh, yeah. it more? No no, that definitely I just I wouldn't go out of position to do it. Absolutely. Now, do, do you guys think Aces uh, has a good counter against the, the Void Ring comp, like Red Alerts, right now, with the, two, well, with the uh, Arm and Raven? Well, yeah, because, because for Sanya to get a kill, it has to be based on positioning or in combination with a very clutch blackout, right? Because with the Cloak and the d -mat, if everyone is close enough to the Arbiter, nothing can die, right? They don't have a lot of ways to, you know, they can get the Imp to reveal units, but um, it can be very hard to maintain damage, you know, with just Imps or, or just whatever. So um, big kills will come once the, the ultimates are dropping. Yeah, but both teams clearly comfortable to take this to late game. Sorry, go ahead. But I, I mean, I was thinking, what if they you had two BCs on the outside? Would you think that would be a better counter against a Void Ray, like Red Alerts? Two BCs for instead of uh, an Arm and OV. Oh, you mean like change their comp? If if they, you think two BCs would be would be a better comp, a uh, better counter against uh, a Void Ray like Sonya. Well, I mean, they have no BCs right now, so I, I think. You know, usually you have the one BC for the lockdown, right? Yeah. Um, I see. I, I see Big Jam looking to be sneaky here. Oh, they're scanning, so they see it. Yes, they they see it, but they they still want to come out strong. Still want to always be threatening some sort of aggressive action. I I do think that a BC is a better counter to a Void Ray than an Overlord, it's, especially in the early game because it just does more damage. It can push the rest of the Void Ray team back easier. Yeah. I mean, it's really the BC for the Arbiter here, right? I mean, that would be the switch you would make. Yeah, but I, I think Ace is high. They, they clearly, if they expected a... I, I, you know, I would wager that they expected a, a Void Raid based on the fact that they put their Raven on the outside lane. Um, and I think they're just saying, our Raven's going to be good enough, and a Raven-Arb combination late game is going to be good enough. You can't run a Void Raid against us. Vulnerability so. pop just for the extra push into Aces here. Yeah, uh, I'm mean, sorry, into Red Alert. It's not, not going to hurt him. Abra there next to him at almost full health. Didn't take much damage on that push at all. Yeah, I think... It, yeah, as I say, it's like more of a technicality. I think he went a little far for no benefit, but it didn't end up hurting him. We have uh, Illusions out now for Aces High. We're, we're at the 30 minute mark, and this game is flat tied, uh, yep. which one might argue could favor the Void Ray comp at this stage. You would... Yeah, I agree. Like, if that's the conventional wisdom, but then also I think the other argument is say there's no Void Ray, I think we would be arguing that a, a flat tie favors a double support comp. Not counting the OB, of course, but a, a, an oh, yeah. Arbor Raven comp. It, it, so it, it could still very easily go either way here. What just happened with that night? That was a hallucination. I'm, I'm getting tripped here. <laughs> okay, there it is. Beam on the Raven. Cloak is coming in. Oh, okay, the Inzi. The blackout. blackout on the Void. But that was a very aggressive blink forward. Yeah, good dodge too. As everyone knows that... A little low pushing in. It's always a very careful Void Ray that blinks forward into a, a Raven, right? He blinked the EMP at the expense of uh, having blink on cooldown for the Blackout. But, I mean, you check out that Raven, he did get him down to a uh, dangerous level before he was cloaked, and so that at least is going to make Aces High respect that. And maybe we'll see Red Alert catch up on farm here. But, I or mean, the... Up, uh, maybe take a bit of a lead. Yeah, the, the Aces High now has, you know, their combo, right? They have the infinite D-Mat, they have the cloak. So, unless the spotter can somehow get in there, unless the imp lands, 
nothing's gonna die, right? And that's yeah, that's what they're hoping be for. Yeah, this is gonna be a blackout situation. Oh, Amigo Deer's like, I'm gonna get you. To get a kill. I'm gonna get you, Hallucination. The gem again is pushing very deep with no energy and no health, relying only on his shield. He went solo there to the god, and now he has to hope back. So, just reiterating some of the differences in, in Overlord playstyle, Migo has the 2300 side blast with 575 energy, Crackshot has the 775 energy with the 1740 side blast. And right, Sonya working on the bottom tower, no one there to help it. I wonder if they're going to notice it here. and. Oh, all they need it. is Red Dog to get there, right? The the cloak is what saves the tower. Yeah, that's what I say, as long as they notice. They did let it get down to uh, 5,000 HP before they cloaked it. Oh boy, I think they're going to play catch on Sunday here. If he's not yeah, that was, that was a sideways blink that didn't benefit him too much. I think he was trying to dodge an EMP. He didn't know quite where the raven, the raven was as it was cloaked. But he managed back to get out. He's looking back now to base. With 700 farm, is that right? About. Let's see what he dumps his money into. They did get good pressure on that tower. More beam and more beam. <laughs> yeah, the tower was down to half of its armor. And he has that half yellow beam, armor. yeah? Gotta love that yellow beam. Yellow oh, beam. He does have one. He cannot mess with that yellow beam. The Puri. He's got the Puri. Now, do they threaten the uh, red alert tower here? It looks like I they're... Think they, they're thinking about it, but I just don't see that they have the same damage, except for Psyblast. Oh. Interesting. Delta picked up uh, Bioplasm. Delta, at this point, has his Leviathan. has just about every ability a Leviathan can get. <laughs> but, I mean, you see the difference there with Ace's comp is uh, they didn't have the same pressure on the tower that... The stained beam had their their real burst damage is in uh, side blast. Beam on thing. He's gonna he's gonna force the blackout here. He oh, he blinks side. into the blackout. Oh, he, he blinked into it. I but, think yeah. it would have missed him. I actually think that would have missed the void ray, and he blinked into that blackout. Right. He, he might have expected the blackout, blackout to come right at him. Abra is yeah, actually he, a little bit low here. He was anticipating it, he blinked out of the way, and in fact, he blinked into it, so... Wait, was that Sandix Blackout, or Ace's Eye? I think it was both Blackouts. No, it was Ace's Eye. Well, well, look, was look it at both? Sandix Blackout, it looks like... Yeah, they're, they're both on cooldown. Both. both Blackouts hit, because Dead Knight was also blacked out. That gives Red Alert an opportunity here with the Void, there is no strong deny. And he's on... The oh, the no, Lynx, the M. Raven's gonna get cloaked, though. Yep. I don't. I don't expect. Transfers that. to Fig. He's just looking for a target. Yeah, and this this is I the combo, know. right? How do you actually sustain damage on a single target? He's got to right, get on the orbiter. Well, I say right there. I think he was just looking to put some put some damage on. He knew there were no kills available, and so just beam a couple of people and farm. Just check uh, in I think here. We're, uh, at that point in the game where Sonya White's gonna hold their base hostage, their tower hostage, and uh, Ace's High will no longer be able to push into the Red Alert's base. It's, it's looking like Sonya likes to be very aggressive, very threatening in terms of his positioning. And that's great, that's good to see he's utilizing that to his team's advantage. My money says he dumps energy. The Abra 10 shield, 475 energy, making sure he's extra tanky. But no this, gas. Uh, no gas on Abra, he's basically a pure tank. Yeah. They, uh, put, oh, really? The, the how often do you see no see. gas? Oh, boy, boy, works in. Crackshot is gonna get cloaked. Gonna get cloaked. But oh, he's see. gonna have to go back to base, he is, he is burning. Well, and good pressure. Beam is now on Abra. Severf threatening. Severf does have gats. Severf has 10 gats. He has 10 gats, 10 shields, 10 armor. He just needs 10 lasers. Round <laughs> that out. 10 yeah, griffins, right? Comp here for their DPS. Yeah. <laughs> they're really relying on crack shot to get his high blast up, and they're relying on Delta 9 to be just a force as a levy. 
The Colossus and the Dreadnought are just pure tanks. I would be curious about this tower right now, guys. Every one of these uh, pushes that doesn't result in the kill still makes them go back, and I know that we know Sanya's like trolling for that tower. Yeah. He is like he's siphoned. He has no energy. Quite aggressive. There's the frenzy on Delta. Diving no, on the panic. diving on the Raven, but he backs out. Panic, Vulnerability panic. on Fig Jam. I think Sanya's gonna be okay, but we're more about the uh, Ovi. Yeah, Both black guys are now up. But what I really think Rambler needs to watch out for is that Frenzy. There's no way of stopping that Frenzy. If he gets on that Raven... Yeah, especially on the Raven, I agree. The only way to stop it is with the, the double charge of the Void. <laughs> Ooh, Yellow Beam on... Oh, he's just there bouncing around running. different targets. Gets on Delta. Delta is far away from the Arb. The Arb is oh, already got, cloaking. Zipper is pushing in on the support. There's the Ooh, dodge the, the blackout. He dodged it, but he also dodged himself out of range to do anything else except for that. Right. Dodge too far. Still nine range on the, the blink. This is a very hot engage. With a still very even game. Danik has preserved his blackout. He didn't get a chance to use it there. Yvonne's land's now doing 1,500 damage. Amigo Sanya. Gears, Psy up to 2,500. What was that? I would say Sanya's like bank clearly banking some energy here. And, uh, I think now he's going to back off, but I think he was looking for uh, something on that Raven. Because that Raven was really low energy coming out with Dead Knight. 2,700 life regen on Delta. Abra picked up cover. And armor. Fig Jam, Lance doing. Wow, Fig Jam's Lance doing 2000. But he's burning at the moment. 675 energy on Red Dog and Crack Shot Psy up to 2500. Look at this. Fig Jam probably figures with uh, 12 shields and two support ships. He doesn't need to have to worry about his hull. Agents go straight to the bottom tower. That's the power they want. Ooh, beam on Delta. M? Yeah. Feedback. Sun is out of energy. Siphon. Yeah, this is... Sun is out of shield. This is a save the tower push. I expect to see Sanya disengage as soon as he has a hint of fall damage. Abra at 6,000. Fig Jam, 4,000 shields left. There's his hint of Ooh, Red Dog stopped for just a second. Oh, yeah, that's a hallucination. I do think that Cola was in trouble. That was a very hot engagement, yes. Siege creep up the middle. Red alerts will die. Aces will lose one or two and then push down. They're go they really want this tower though, so if, if uh, red alert isn't on their toes, they're gonna turn around and do that, do that exact same engagement again. Tower is down to 9,000 total life. All right, here's the same exact same engagement again now. We it's like deja to... vu all over again. Yeah. And I don't know, has blink forward. Trying to just blink forward with no energy and no shields. That was very that was gutsy. Well, he was blinking to miss the EMP and he didn't. So that was it was the worst of both worlds. Abra, you're not gonna get it your way this time with the towers. He might soon. It's really doing a great job of handling. 45 I'm minutes, teams, tower. teams remain even in farm. I can see if you look at Ace's Eye's bottom tower that the towers slowly heal their hull. Ace's Eye yes, towers, back green. Because they had that down to almost half, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Aces with the turn. So here, there, Aces is saying our three tanks, three and a half with the illusions, are. Yeah, and unfortunately, Fig Jam's missiles keep hitting Yvonne while he's invulnerable. I'd say Zephyr is just looking for somebody to put damage on that they can actually do damage to. This 19 gas. Ability is all over the place. Zephyr is 
Off the top. They do. He was on that Obi for a minute, and it did look like it was hurting him, but these double teams at various points. Seems like they're trying Ace's to split eye. Ace's comp. They're trying to draw a couple ships away from Red Dog. Force Red Dog to, to run around with... There, all the oh, beam on crack, crack shot. And the Red... Oh, Arbiter, the red oh, Arbiter gets down. there. He was locked down, but it, his lockdown expired right as he got over to the support. We saw Sanic kind of dancing in danger there, and it was for that Void Ray warp in. And I think Sonya White does need to take down the tower here while they're Yeah, say Abra's posturing to uh, save the tower. And it looks like that's going to work out for him. The support ship's coming back out to help him here. I mean, really, at this point, Delta never has a reason to go back, actually, into the base. As I say, I'd love to see Tanya blink down and just go for the bottom tower and okay. of the top. That's what I was 17 beam and 0.21 speed. There are a lot of options you can do as a Void Ray. Well, it seems like Red Dog's cloak is, is really a thorn in, in Sonya's plan to melt everybody on Ace's team. What could, what could Red Alert do to counter that? That's where the blackout comes in, especially for a mechanical, right? Because you cannot be cloaked when you're blacked out. Oh, a fake warp out by Sonya. This one, we thought he was going to warp back to base. He's actually going to go for it. So D Dead Knight does not have him on radar, does he? They don't see this. He got around the tower. Well, they see it now. <laughs> yeah, now they see it. But it might already be too late. too late. It's definitely too late. Well, well, towers are melting, guys. Delta yeah, they're, they're only just they're now warp, warping. warping. Yeah, it's, it's going to be too late. Gonna go Warp's going to be canceled. Oh, Levy made Did it, it in. The warp? Oh. No, Levy oh. made it in. Somehow uh, only the Levy gets in. I don't know how that happens. Well, I'm saying Levy chases him and does acid spray might prevent the warp out, but he didn't Beautiful know. Beautiful tower kill. Yeah, he didn't know where he warped to. Aces High has now lost their second tower for this entire tournament. Yeah. They've not lost a ship yet, though, so... Yeah, I mean, the, even though the tower is down, the uh, the score is, is still dead even 15 minutes into the game. I think this is always the danger, though. If you're going to take a Void Raid to an hour, I mean, and, and leave his team alive, too. So we'll see how they can respond. Yeah, Agent has made no attempt to make any warp maneuvers to get behind Red Alert to take any other ship. The Arbiter still does not have gases, so they're not trying to isolate. Any ships? And yeah, the most yeah. we've seen was that double push on the tower. It seems like Crack oh, yeah. is playing very carefully with uh, the Void Ray, just sitting here behind Sever. As he should be. Like... Both Overlords now have 3,000 damage on their side blasts. This is. I know that whenever I play a. Uh, Battle cruiser. This is where I start to feel kind of decorative. <laughs> it can be really hard to to get on anything other than just dropping the lockdown on the the Colossus. At the 50 minute mark, crazy. How often does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Dever to get on the on the Arbiter. Red dog in trouble, guys. Big Jam. Red dog Big Jam is at 5,000 shields with one life. So oh, if the shields go down, he is gone. Red dog is dead. Oh, Red Big Dog Jam. is dead. Oh my God. Big Jam is oh, dead. Big Wow. There was a lot of communication breakdown in the middle there. Several fans could get in to the rear of, of Ace's formation and just wreck havoc on Red Dog. Crap shot continuing to go in despite being siphoned, and now the beam is on him as well. Crack shot goes down. The beam is on him while Dead Knight is locked down. And this has been a very dynamic game one. I have to imagine that with uh, only the Raven for denial against the, the Void Ray, we have a bit of a, a lag spike here. It seems to be Red Dog. Abra GG's during Abra, the lag Abra screen. GG's during the lag screen, so that would... That means we are we're going to game two of Red Alert versus is is High. Game one going to Red Alert. We saw the uh, the strengths of Sonya White's Void Ray. Sonya's Void Ray being very much on point this game. Dealing with three supports. 
and still getting the win. Very impressive. Overall, very impressive. Not sure which, uh, out there, the, the victory screen pops. So do, do you feel like this was, was lost? I mean, I, I can't say that this was lost on the composition stage, right? This really could have gone either way, really up through the 50 minute mark. Yeah, it seemed like the tower falling kind of did a psychological blow to aces and they were a little little discombobulated when when that whole push happened and, and it fell apart for them. I agree that tower going down w seemed like a bigger deal to them than maybe it should have been. Well, to me, from my point of view, uh, when I saw Red Alert's farm uh, more than aces, that's when I noticed that's an that was an indicator to me that you know they they, they knew what they were doing against Ace's highest comp, and the fact that the longer the game goes, the uh, the better the chance of them winning against Ace side with their Void Ray. And to me, that those were two indicators, winning indicators for me. But I, I think, you know, looking at the upgrade spinning, it's clear that Sanya really was leading on farm at every stage of this game by a pretty significant margin. Um, really, Sanya, I think, set the, the tempo for the game for, for, in a way, almost both teams, right? Both teams were, especially because Asa spent so much time building around... Uh, having the energy deny, especially on the Overlord sacrificing the Plague Extension for such a long period of time just to get that extra energy on the Siphon. Um, I think that suggests that they were really working very hard to respond to this Void Ray that they, they knew was very likely to be in the game. Um, but it's, it's still hard, even with three support. We do not yet have a lobby for game two. Well, now the question is, Red Alert going to field another Void Ray since that was so successful, or are they going to change it up? Don't fix if it ain't broke. There you go. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to maintain the constant stream, or are you going to base that on how these lobbies go? Well, yeah, if the lobby doesn't get started soon, I might uh, turn the stream off um, until the next lobby at least is formed. Doesn't seem like it's forming too quick, so... Oh, you're, you're forming a lobby. The, it's the spectator lobby formation. That's, that's the way to do it. Oh, is that what we're going to do? Invite, invite the teams. All right, very good. So we get we get all the spectators and then uh, have none of the teams in the lobby. They start. Let's bring them in. Oh, I think I think Asus is actually forming the lobby. Oh, all right. Oh yeah, just see there. But if we get the, uh, the lobby going here, I mean, sometimes the the games between uh, game one and game two can take a little time, especially because both both teams just need a little time to collect themselves. Yeah, a bit of a debrief. But Asus is forming a lobby, and, and it seems like they're ready to go again. Maybe they're going to get. Maybe Delta is going to to talk his way into to playing Void Ray to, to counter Sonya's Void Ray, yeah? Could be. I'm just curious if, uh, if Red Alert is going to do it again. I mean, partly we might be able to tell just by who they bring into the game, right? So I noticed that Fast Forward is entering the lobby. He was not playing in the last game. But it seems like... Uh, None of them are actually entering the lobby yet. <laughs> Don't know why that is. 
this is this is why I usually stop the stream between games. On Overlord, Raven, Battlecruiser, the mid support ships, several players who can play them to a very high level with slightly different styles, but overall who who fit very well into the team. They don't really have any true subs. Well, we do have Hawk and Fast Forward both online right now, and Bionicle. Uh, it could be a very different group of players from Red Alert. Yeah, it would be interesting. They do have a lot of people online. They have a very big team. It would be interesting to see how much they switch it up. I agree. Like like uh, Pornex has said, if, you, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But um, say they move away from that type of a comp. Um, and it doesn't work, then they're stuck. You gotta, do you go back to it or do you not? I, I almost say like the one reason not to move away from it is because it almost seemed that, that Aces High expected that with the Raven on the side lane and it still worked. So Aces expected it and you still made it work. Stick with it. Yeah, and what do you think Aces would do? User I mean, joined they're channel. thinking that the Void Ray worked against them. What, what can you do beyond an Overlord, Arbiter and the Raven? I think the only other thing you would do is, uh, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not an expert, so I don't know which ship you would remove, but I think you'd want lockdown because yeah. of how how strong that is late game. It completely shuts down all abilities. So even though the BC, like Crazy said, becomes a what, what did you? How did you put it? Like a figurehead or uh, De a decoration? Or <laughs> a yeah, decoration. That's... Yes. I mean, I don't. Maybe... As a battle cruiser, I don't usually make it to the hour mark. Quite frankly, I, I think that was a pretty fair comment. Yeah, uh, battle cruiser is one of my worst ships. <laughs> it may be a decoration, but that lockdown at every stage of the game is pretty strong with the completely shutting down all abilities. So, I, I guess that's my answer: is, is the, if you expect a void ray, perhaps have lockdown in your comp. Based on who's in the lobby right now, it looks like Ace is going to go with the same team. No, they have fast forward. They they're subbing out someone if fast forward is playing. Aces. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> User joined your channel. Are we going to have another duel to the death of, of who gets to be the uh, the the co-caster here? Q -Q -Q, uh -oh. you, you might need to grab your Highlander sword and uh, be prepared to to fight <laughs> Agile. I'm ready. I'm re I, I think my highlights Who the were... fuck kicked me in? I think my highlights I were on I believe that would be uh, Abra. And Clown. I think it's a, fish, it's a tournament match as well. Oh, okay. All right. And let's match. welcome Azel Eye. We Azel Eye has joined us we in the caster's booth. Imperial is trying to get in the lobby too. This, this lobby just gets constantly... Maybe, maybe Red Alert will sub in Imperialist, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Probably, I think we, I think as casters, I think we all have to rely on squatters' rights, right? Well, I mean, I, I made Helvaticano play, uh, what was it, Tic-Tac-Toe in, in our last group. Yeah, so we have, we have, right. we have Hawk in here it, too, so we have Fast Forward and Hawk in the lobby so far, so this could be a very different group of players. Now, has, right, who has, wants to challenge has, me for a Tic-Tac-Toe? Has Aces huh? changed anyone? Nope. Is, I don't think they've changed anybody. Nope, they have not. I don't think at this hour Aces could change anyone, quite frankly. They they were struggling to, to coordinate a time with Red Alert so hard. It was very frustrating for, for Abra, I know, to actually make this match happen. But, I'm sure but, for Red Alert as well. But what I really think they need to be changing is their composition against that Void Ray. Take the OV up, put a BC in there. Maybe, so, maybe even perhaps two BCs. So Pornexus expects another Void Ray. I am expecting another Void Ray. I'm going to yeah. put my car on it, my house on it, everything <laughs> on it. So it, it may seem counterintuitive, but I mean, there are some very strong carrier players uh, from Aces High too. I mean, do you think maybe they... It's, it doesn't seem terribly intuitive to run a, a carrier versus a Void Ray, but, uh, you know, Vortex is a very strong spell, so... Uh, uh, and I would hate to see a repeat of Telos versus <laughs> Red Alert Game 3 when a Void Ray went up against a Carrier. <laughs> I think we all saw what happened there. Yes. But, you know... Yeah, I, I think the... Sanya knows how to counter a Carrier. 
Don't underestimate Red Alert. I think they're a very good team. They could win this one. As uh, a matter of fact, they just won game one. Really? Oh, wow. I was in, I'm not really surprised, though. I think they're a good team, good players. Played, been playing for a while. Yeah, should we, should we do another roll call here for uh, for who actually is going to be casting? So we have a bunch of people in, in TeamSpeak at the moment. Um, the people who are actually in the lobby include Helvetta Kano. You're supposed Hello. to say. Yeah, th there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, QQQ. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. And for Nexus, who... Yo, yo. Yes, yo. they're still here. And then we, we have uh, Manuel snooping in on us, not saying anything, being very secretive and quiet. Representing uh, sharks. <laughs> yes. But hey, how come the sharks didn't... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, f finish your thought. Hmm. I was say, how come the sharks didn't play in the tournament? Because I think you guys are d you guys are good. You could you could have won several games, and who knows, you could have been playing against uh, one of these teams here in the semifinals or quarter or semifinals. I mean, I could speculate. I there could was speculate some in the in the run up to the tournament with the sharks losing players, trying to finalize a tournament roster, and then uh, G Spot, of course, doing nothing at all. Uh well, I didn't mean to open old wounds. I just saying I. I think you guys could have made a good run. That's what I was trying to say. I was trying to stay positive. I'm pretty sure that it was all G-Bot's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, I w the positive spin is I think you guys would have been a good asset to the tournament. More teams, the better. And I think you could have made a good run because you guys played together a lot. So, And team play is really important when it comes to competitive scene like the tournament. And we don't even know if Mandel is here still. I mean, he, he could just be straight up asleep. Just have left team speak on. <laughs> Wonder what... No, I'm here. I'm listening. Oh, okay. I just didn't want to interrupt you guys talking. Uh, nope. I do have to be aware of who's in, in TeamSpeak because I don't I don't want uh, red alert players just kind of ducking in here because it's just just a listen, but you know it's still be it would still be suspicious. And then we also do have Agile in here at the moment to uh, grace us with his many delightfully phrased expletives. Yes, Agile. Yeah, sorry about that. And Hello. Yes, more color commentary, please. No, no more colors, mate. No colors here. Sorry about that. I didn't realize you were casting. Oh, no. Yeah, for this one, I'm, I decided not to turn it off. Usually between games, I'd turn it off, but we have enough people, and I think there's enough to talk about here to actually keep it going. And it seems like Red Alert Teams is finalized, right? We get we got Hawk, and we got Fast Forward in here. I mean, those are, are two very strong BC players, and I think Hawk... What, what else does Hawk play? Raven. Hawk yeah. Is, uh, Raven. And you know who's missing from Ace's comp and Ace's roster on this game and both of these games is uh, Min So Ki, who is their dreadnought player and has 10 kills in the tournament, is on the top of the leaderboard when it comes to uh, kills. Uh huh. Whatever happened to Arctic Fox? That's a good question. He just seemed to disappear. Who is Arctic Fox? Maybe he's Nox. Maybe he's another player in disguise. Maybe he's Evil Ninja. Maybe he's oh, Nexus. Know. Okay, now, know. now we're drifting into conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many star battle conspiracy theories. You know, sometimes you go into lobbies, you, you see a greater ninja, and then the, you would see another one join. Oh There's... man, it's that's rough with the the fake greater ninjas. They're clearly troll accounts because they're they're trying to ruin the pub scene. Well, I mean, a lot of them popped up, like no, I mean, I, I have, I have my, I have my own conspiracy theories, but I don't, I don't want to get into those right now. I think it's Prisco Cube. I, I kind of do too. <laughs> I'd but say I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> I say without speculating who it is, whoever it is, they're clearly trying to ruin pubs by doing two versus ten and. and go oh, they're doing it. They're doing a good job. Yeah, it's frustrating when you only have a short time to play. And you want to just grab a quick game, and you can't. So, yeah, I've I've experienced that frustration. And I mean, maybe it's pushed more people to to in houses, but I, I don't I don't think so. Not in a big way, at least. I, mean? I guess that's the, that's the optimistic way to look at it. But for me personally, when I'm just trying to do a quick one or two games, and I don't have a lot of time to play, like and wait for an organized game, it really stinks when the pubs are ruined. I guess I don't want to feed any trolls right now, so I, I'll, that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> I used to play a lot with uh, Red Alert, and uh, they've actually taught me some uh, Russian words. Um, 
and I'm pretty close to Ivanopla and Sonic. Um, yeah, they're, they're a good team. They're very funny though sometimes. I don't understand what they're saying most of the time. We knew in that because they just speak Russian. You just hope for the best. How are we looking here? Do we have an ETA to, uh, to launch? No, neither team has said ready yet. They, they are both probably... Uh, I mean, for, certainly for Red Alert, since they have so many players, uh, I have to imagine that they are uh, having to really think about their comp here. You know, who is actually playing what, because although Severf, Ivan, and Sanya... Well, no, I mean, although Severf and Ivan are both probably going to be tanks, uh, the other four ships, I mean, could really do a lot of options, especially considering they have to be assuming Aces is going to respond very heavily to the Void Ray, right? The question is, how? How do they think Aces will respond to the Void Ray? That's a if great you, question. I wonder if... Oh, go ahead, Porn. And if, if you ask me, two BCs would be key. Yeah, two I would BCs. say two BCs. Maybe they would counter with the Void Ray themselves. That's the question, right? Do they do a voider themselves, or do they expect that there's no way Red Alert run two voiders in a row, and then they run a, their carrier? So I, because the Aces High can run a carrier. Can they against uh, uh, an experienced void ray? Well, I guess that's the mind game, right? Do they expect void two games in a row? Maybe they think oh. Red Alert's going to change it up, and they're going to catch catch them in a change. Well, well, put it this way: when we went up against Red Alert, you know, game one, I, I really, I think they went Void Ray. Game two, I didn't think they'd go Void Ray, but they still went Void Ray. Game three, they still went all Void Ray. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> history is history. But I, I did watch that though. Game two, you guys beat them with some really good warp tricks. So that was yes. a, that was a good game. I had to bust out my Void Ray to beat them one time. <laughs> That's but, right. But game three. Well, that's what was rough, right? So you guys said, it's <laughs> like, there's no way they're going to go Void Ray three games in a row. Let's put a carrier out there. Uh, well, I, I'm sure you wouldn't have fielded the carrier if you expected Void Ray. Oh, yeah. The, you know, your worst possible nightmare came to life when I saw Void Ray. And after Ninja Pick Carrier, I was like... Oh, he was running man. out of time. He... It, because it was, what, 58, 59 seconds, and he had to pick. And I, was the Void Ray visible to him yet, or no? No, he, he said he was saying he could not see the Void Ray. And so he had to just make up his mind and, and roll the dice. Yeah, it was hard on the stream to tell whether the Void he Ray was in view or not. There's been some conspiracy theories about that, actually. We're not sure. Maybe Greater Ninja was paid off by the Russians oh, to run a carrier. Yeah, he was going to throw it. He was throwing the games. Maybe you well, had family members blackmailed. We never know. <laughs> I never thought about that. Like, <laughs> come up with some interesting topics. I don't know. I'd say though, on all seriousness, <laughs> I'm glad that I'm glad that he was allowed to play to make it like a, a game that mattered and not right. some sort of a forfeit or a technicality. So that I think it was the, the spirit of the tournament to allow him to play, and I think that was really good for the game. And we still don't have any news from either team about any ETA here, whether it's going to be immediate User or if there's a channel. deliberate pause for 10 or 20 minutes for these players to have a break. We're not sure. And I, you know, Ace Society, they're on the edge of a cliff here. And, you know, they've, they've worked hard all season. They remain undefeated up until not only I say not only undefeated. That was their first loss of a ship in the entire tournament. So yeah, surprisingly, they've got they got their backs against the wall, and we'll see what they come out with. This is going to be their strongest. What they feel is their strongest go to composition. Players. Well, you know, playing against Aces High as Void Ray, normally they would just start hitting the towers early in the game, right? I agree. Uh, I, I, I think I think my prediction is they're going to come out with double Desi and just go for the towers right off the bat early in the game. Why, why yeah. even let the Void Ray get strong when you can take out the base early in the game? And that's what they did to me. 
And yeah, they did kind of change their strategy from the standard, right? I agree with you. They they usually would go straight, okay, you run a void, we're going to bully you. But in that game, they said, okay, you run a void, we'll just put our Raven side lane and let him get farmed up. And that it, it didn't work, I guess, the way they wanted. No. Um, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Did, did I just see them with uh, a Levy, Desi, one Desi and one Colo? Yeah, they yeah, did. They did three tanks and three Desi support. They did no BC, which is really the big question, right? I mean, lockdown well, having, is is so yeah. big. Yeah, well, having to babysit that Ovi really took a lot of resources away from their Raven and uh, you know, the constant DMAT that he had to give that Ovi. I think might have uh, uh, pulled him away from from the Void Ray wherever wherever the Void Ray was. Well, yeah, and, and once once the okay. tower fell, once Red Alert took Ace's tower, Ace's was so intent on taking Red Alert's tower that Delta Nine, who was arguably their their most heaviest DPS ship, the ship that could do the most damage to any of Red Alert's fleet, was was focused on the tower. He didn't really have a chance to to go after any of Red Alert ships. Red Alert was pushing Ace's off the tower and then running them yeah. across the map. Yeah. Yeah, and then also, I mean, even going back further in the game, if, um, speaking of psychology of the game, recall that push on the, that early, well, early, the mid-game push on the levy, and they really had to save him. He got down to under under 1,000 HP. Yeah. And, I mean, that's, that's a big psychological impact on the game, too. So now you're worried. You're worried about the Void Ray. What's he going to do to you? And so everyone plays cautious, and all of a sudden it's late game and you're toast. Yeah, yeah, Delta and... only made one strong push against the uh, against the Raven. What he really needed to do was take out the Raven, or take out the Overlord. And I think he was on the BC once doing some damage. He was on the Raven once doing some damage, but that was it. He didn't really get any more chances. But no, I, I think you're you're right. Um, the 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 levy was run to to control the mid. Right? Is that the idea? Is that the the levy gets more farm than the void in the side lane, but that just wasn't happening. Sonya was staying really on top of denying farm, uh, and Sonya was up on upgrades through the entire game. And I mean, uh, that's just really hard to deal with because generally the hope is the void ray will need that opportunity to make a big play, but Sonya wasn't always, you know, diving in and out to make the big play. Sonya was sometimes just right there in the mid with the Levy dealing more damage, right? I mean, you'd hope that the Levy would get in there, drop Corruption, drop Frenzy, and they would start pushing, they would start destroying the mid, and it just never really came together like that. And that was really just because of that solid farm advantage for not the entire team, but just the Void Ray. Yeah, a good chunk of that game, he was the highest farm in the whole map. No, I, I don't think through a solid chunk. I think through the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> well, even the entire game is a solid chunk. That's why I qualified it. <laughs> uh, a very solid chunk. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The entire, that's that's even better. That's even better. But yeah, he did really well. And it, you know, the other thing too is that he didn't dedicate to back farming, but he made them respect it. You know, I recall one point in the game he was farming behind the line. You know, with nobody having warp, his, none of his teammates had warp. He was farming back there. It caused Ace's high to back up, and then he just got out. And so, not only did he get the farm, but he caused them to back and gave his team map position. So, I mean, uh, so I mean, what do you guys think? Is there is there a way that Ace's doesn't run a BC? And if so, what are they cutting? Because I, I, you know, the first thing that would come to me is, okay, they cut the ARB, they replace it with the BC. Like, that that to me seems like the most direct solution to a Void Ray, at least to get them through the mid-game. It still doesn't really solve the end-game, though, and for that, I would, I really, you know, I want to see Delta play Void, but I don't know that they're going to do that. I think they want a different solution, probably. I agree that they're going to lose the arb, but I think they were also. I, I think they're also going to lose that levy. I think after that last game, yeah. they, that levy didn't contribute what they thought it would, and I don't yeah. see a levy in this game for Aces High. Yeah, Aces plays plays Void slightly differently than the way that Red Alert plays Void, and uh, we might see some. If they do play Void, then we might see some tricks. We might see some plays, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Aces tries to to take ships out 
before 20 minutes. I mean, does, does anyone vote. does anyone really play Void like Sanya? I would say each Void player, because it's such a unique ship, plays very differently. There, There is no, besides very raw Void Ray players who don't have a lot of experience, who generally all are horrible. <laughs> yes, that's players who understand but how many void ray ship. tournament void ray players are there you know it's like maybe five i don't know so we're, we're talking to one of them here <laughs> <laughs> well two we're i think right three for nexus yeah three oh yeah helveticus is in there or helveticano sorry <laughs> oh we have them ready from abra i'm stuck in the past i'm stuck in the past <laughs> with helveticus <laughs> all right i don't know who helveticus is who's yeah. helveticus <laughs> sorry helveticano yeah. Backward, upside down, with a weird yeah, looking X. My bad, my bad. Well, guys, anybody want to bet here? Uh, Red Alert going Void Ray. One million dollars on it. <laughs> One million. One million. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I'd do a million on it, honestly, because I, I think that they might, you know, screw with Aces and, uh, you know, throw Sonya on BC and, and just have to imagine that they're going to overcommit to the, the denial. So, so are you saying they're not going? I'm, I'm not saying they're not going Void Ray. I'm saying that it's not like... I wouldn't bet a million on it. You know, I, I would I would I'm bet just... 20 on it. <laughs> uh, I, I would, I would, I'll I'd be bet... good for 20, but not a million. I'm, I'm on Porn X's side. I bet five internet dollars that they five. run a Void Ray. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I got a bet for them running a Void Ray. Especially if you're watching uh, Red Alert versus uh, TLOS. Like, like Porn X's said, they ran a Void Ray, and then they... It's like, oh, they're not gonna, oh, they ran a Void Ray. Oh, no, they're not going to do it again. Oh, they ran a Void Ray. Yes, we, we <laughs> were starting every to time. think that, you know, okay, maybe they're not going to go Void Ray because they just went Void Ray last game, and so, you know. <laughs> well, here's here's the bigger happened. question to me. Uh, forget about the Void Ray for a second. How many tanks are we going to see? Is it going to be six, four, three? <laughs> six. I mean, there were, there were five tanks last game. They could try oh, the old oh, total. Tank. Sorry, six. I think it was six and one team. No, 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 no. I mean, total between <laughs> both teams, right? I mean, we had two tanks yes, versus three yes, tanks. Yes. And, and last game, the two tanks won. Do you think uh, Asus is running three tanks again? No. My gut tells me they're going to run two tanks, and they're going to lose the levy for the BC. Exactly. That's the exact same. Abra's announced that Asus High is ready. I think that's actually that's the, the second ready in, in two minutes. In case it was missed the first time, perhaps. And Red Alert still, you know, this, Red Alert probably has just a little bit more to discuss since they, you know, they they are bringing in two new players here and they're cutting really. I mean, to me, in a way, the biggest personnel change here is, is losing Amigo Deer because, you know, who exactly will be on the Overlord now? Because that's it's a big part of their damage and it's a big part of their, yeah. their play. Does does Hawk does Hawk play Overlord? I don't. That's a very good question. No, <laughs> I don't know either. I, I'm trying to think back. Now this, I'm thinking back to like two years ago. So I'm. I'm yeah, Hawk, him... Hawk has played Overlord this tournament so far. Okay. He's played Overlord. He's played BC. He's played Colossus. Ooh, we have the second ready. He's got a good range of ships. Fast forward has played BC, Leviathan, and Colossus. So. Uh... And your popcorn ready. Who's yeah. doing who's doing the top right team again this time? Is it gonna be QQQ again? Sure, I can do. Oh, was that Pronexus? Or Pronex if you want to, I can take turn. <laughs> you can do it. Pronexus, you're on. Yes, Total yes, commitment. I'll take the top right. You have to be prepared to go all the way with this Alexis. Pronexus. No, I can't I can't make your name a, a <laughs> variation of Stukov, sorry. All right, and looks like game number two, Ace of Side versus Red Alert, is underway. Or will be underway as soon as this loading screen finishes. Will be underway. Ace so, is lost and a beautiful match. loading screen it is. In the bottom left, we have, that is right, the one, the only, the Ace is High. We have, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, we have the crack shot going <laughs> the void ray. I'm already excited, is. such excite. We have <laughs> Abra on Raven going Imp, Fig Jam for three Colossus standard opening. Uh, pure shield recharge looks like on uh, Red Dog. Dead Knight going uh, five missile and Delta of course. Uh, Delta, I, I mean I say of course going mutation, but Delta on the Leviathan again. They did not cut the Leviathan. 
And yeah, so, yeah. tell me, tell me what do we have in this top lane? Please tell me. Oh yes, I, it looks like I'm on my million. Sonja White still on the point range. Aivana on the Colossus with standard 4-3 open. Sanic on the Raven with EMP, the 300 energy. Hawk on the OB with Plague open. Fast forward with 9 range. And look at this in the top left corner. The void rates have basically nullified each other. Both of them are the least farm ship. Yeah, <laughs> they've been denying each other farm. Now the Desi open hall instead of bombs. Ooh, Raven versus Raven with void ray versus void ray. It's it's yeah. void ray. It's gonna be void ray Raven Colossus here. It's gonna be a straight up three versus three mirror match in the in the top lane. Somebody owes me five internet dollars, although I was wrong about the levy. I'm surprised about that though. I, I I'm surprised it, they ran Levy again. There's only one dreadnought in this game. I'm I'm shocked and appalled that there is only one dreadnought. Only well, one now, dreadnought and see. it is Sever who's been a dominating dreadnought. Yeah, as I say, let's let's see him make his uh let's see him make his mark on this game. It, it maybe the le the uh, void rays will cancel each other out and it's gonna be Levy and uh Dread that make the difference in this game. So, I don't think it'll happen, but i would throw it out there for excitement. <laughs> well, so, the bottom lane, Delta 9 against Sever, two of the most dangerous players in the tournament. Delta 9 and Sever both at the top of the list of kill count, so they've definitely been making an impact for both their teams. I would say both of them are in the running for MVP. That's an excellent question, and if you would like to vote for your choice of MVP, you're welcome to say so in the comments of the Twitch stream. Ooh, I need to log on and vote for myself. Absolutely, you are welcome <laughs> to do so. Yes, we also have other uh, players' awards that we are nominating for. Players have been nominated. Uh, you can feel free to nominate by uh, visiting the database. I think we can provide a link there in a minute or two. Please do. So back, to, back to this game, even Void Ray versus Void Ray, I really feel like I almost had a huge advantage, but... Red Alert has got the early map lead in this game as well. We're slightly on it's, the it's high side of the 50 map. 50 farm is like... Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not talking necessarily about farm, but also about... Look at the HP on the levy. Look at the HP on Big Jam. Uh, I see what you're saying, yeah. What's going on on, on Red Alert side of the map. I think they, they're kind of owning what's going on here. Now, Aces High has made a transition. They've moved the levy to the middle, and they've put the BC versus the Dread. That makes but, sense to me. Um, the void, well, it's, it's the because Delta was low and he doesn't, he should not be going back yet, so just, just put yeah. the higher HP ship versus the uh, the side lane. Now Delta may actually be, well, it's going to be close, depending on how many missiles of an Apollo puts on him, it, he might be burning after this, after that plague. Ooh, just a little bit of spike here. Yeah. Delta and the red. That levy. But I'd say regardless of the total farm score, this early game is going to red alert. Yeah, there's a slight adva advantage here. Nothing that will make or break the game necessarily, although they, they these early game leads can certainly add up, especially in terms of tempo and just uh, mentality. Right, you know, you have that feeling sometimes where it's like, really, you know, just from the very beginning of the game, they were just yeah, always like a little bit up. Much. Yes, yep. But, you know, now, right I, I here, I would have to give it to Red Alert since they know they've been winning this comp since <laughs> so for many years now. Now, the difference here, though, oh, the hands are now to this composition. I agree. I say Crack, Crackshot may have been able to push that advantage if his team was in a position to push since he had upgraded and uh, Sonya had not, but he ended up, he was, he, he, uh, sat, he was satisfied with the, uh, the push. The even. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is this is Red Alert's comfort zone, right? This is this is the comp that they run. Um, yeah, I agree. I, I think Red Alert is comfortable if they are even on farm for the rest of the entire game. But I mean, just I mean, this this is the comp they they've run pr pretty much, you know, just uh, if not every game, then every other game at least. Um, I think just about every. Uh, 
they've run it in, in just about one of at least almost every matchup, right? I mean, the, the, what do you call it? The, uh, the dork, the dork mid. <laughs> dork, yes. I, the D -O -R -K. I say, no, yes, yes, you're right. They're comfortable with this comp. They've run it. They know how it works and, and, uh, how to anticipate different points of the game. I'm sorry, the Bork mid. <laughs> yes. The Bork mid with which with the opportunity to become a dork uh, if the D decides to push in. So both teams now had gone back to their base respectively to to heal up and to upgrade. And Red Alert pushing back out has taken the mid map again. Absolutely. So Verf with charges, bots, five armor, Hawk with uh, Two Mutas, 375 Energy, and Plague Extension. Sanic with Imp, and yes, that is uh, the Imp upgrade. Fast Forward with Scan and uh, 9 range. Yvonne with Hardened Shield, 9 shields. And then Sonya with 4 Beam, 4 Phase Disruptors, Blink, and Energy Nova with 325 Energy. Crackshot coming out with 5 Beam, 2 Phase Disruptors, and 425 energy. Fig Jam Lance 350 energy. Red Dog total commitment to the shield regeneration. Abra Imp uh, not the uh, system upgrade. And Delta coming out with rapid regeneration. 544 250 energy. And finally Dead Knight no scan just lockdown. Just lockdown. And actually why don't I go ahead and check Abra. He does have radar. All right, that's yeah, good. The, uh, it, the supports here in the mid, the Arbiter and the Robins, both not really taking many spells, just going energy, and like you said, Red Dog, just on read them. And that, that, that's a, a difference in, in style and also strategy, right? Is that uh, Abra picks up the radar so that Dead Knight can focus purely on lockdown, whereas Sanic gets the imp upgrade while Fast Forward picks up Scan. So, you know, which ship gets which spell when is very important in the transition from the early game to the mid game. Big Gem again, down and burning. He was down at one life before and still holding the mid with support. Now he's at about 2,300 health. And burn. And that, that's what happens with the, the plagues. Hawk just keeps it on the Colossus so they, he doesn't get that perpetual easy shield regeneration. He makes it makes him work for it, makes that Arbiter use that energy, makes the Arbiter use the shield regen, which he's spent pretty much all of his money on. Yeah, that's going to be a big determining factor later in the game. The, the Overlord there for Red Alert plagues on those next dips, especially the Colossus, which uh, can't really regen in the field. Somewhere here, Fast Forward did also pick up Lockdown. And just a little bit of damage getting on Hawk. Delta not committing too heavily. And we do still have... Oh yeah, uh, we do still have BC versus Dreadnought. What were you saying? I was going to say, I want to see if this affects Red Alert this, this time around. Is Sanic also seems to be the lowest farm on the map. And with dedicating to the Void Ray versus Void Ray battle. And so with um, Aces High having the two supports versus, well, I call it pure supports, right? It's a Raven and, Over and um, Arbiter, not counting the Overlord, versus um, Sanic as the only Raven. But we'll see how that goes for Red Alert this game around. Yeah, it puts a lot of responsibility on Sanic, but really, you know, it, it is, you know, counting on Fast Forward as well, that between the Overlord, which isn't exactly a support, but the Overlord and the Battlecruiser both give a lot of battlefield control, so they, I think they very often feel like they can just get away with not having an Arbiter, right? You know, what, what exactly does the Arbiter add that can't be accomplished with other ships? You know, there's the Cloak, but it seems like Red Alert just doesn't feel like oh, the Cloak is... Yeah, we, we have a lot of commitment here. Delta and Dead Knight both in a lot of danger. Dead 3,000, 2,000, 2,400. Shields are on lockdown. 400, 300, 200, gone! Now EMP, oh, he's still got to blink out. Now can Evan Pala make it out? 
If, if, if everyone gets out of here, this is going to be a... Wow. Fig Jam has to turn Fig Jam at 400 life. 1,000 shields. Oh, wow. Red Luke gets a way to kill. They were committed to that. Great play on Red Alert's part. Yeah. Great awareness by Shining to go up all the way across the map and get on that battle cruiser. Absolutely. And with the, the battle cruiser gone, there goes that, that solution to the, the void rate that they were lacking the entire last game. Now there is no lockdown. Now Sanya is going to feel a lot more comfortable knowing that the denial, he, he, I mean, it, now it would be, there's no siphon and, even. It's and imp only, and feedback, and that's it. Not only that, for Aces High, it's got to hurt. That, that BC was also your highest farm ship on the whole map, on the whole team. That was the highest farm ship on your team. Actually... It was the highest farm ship on the map at that point when he died, as well. Yeah, he was doing well on the bottom lane against the Dreadnought. Uh, a battle cruiser with lockdown does very well against the Dreadnought, and he was picking up a lot of farm down there. Yvonne coming out with Lance, uh, protective field from Sever. Uh, Sonya actually picked up Chrono Rift, which is an interesting choice. That. Uh, Chrono, I, I found that Chrono in this version can be actually very, very strong. Um, so really making sure that they maintain the advantage. If the Void Ray needs to, to get into the mid and make some sort of difference, Chrono Rift can make a little bit of a difference in the mid if something gets too hot. There's a lot of pressure now on Crackshot to make a move. He's got to use that Void. And uh, he's got to get, he's got to get a kill and uh, change the side of his game. Yes, I agree, but um, I think the danger here is for Aces High to try to make that play too soon before they're ready, because mm -hmm. it's almost the same situation they had last game with their tower going down. You know, can they compose themselves, get back into the game, make the right choices so that they don't get into a situation where they're just ending the game not in their favor? So if you're Aces High here, what is your play? How do you get back in the game? How do you generate a kill? I mean, obviously a big part of it is going to have to come down to crack shots, Void Ray, with Beam, the Cloak, the Blink, five five radius on the Blink, to Sonya's uh, eight. I'm not sure. They're, they're mid, with only the Arbiter, the Robin, and the Colossus. They don't have much push power against what Red Alert has. Yeah, I agree, because they, they're counting on their Arbiter to be a better support ship than Red Alert's um, Overlord, and I, I don't see that happening. Being a ship down, I'll qualify that statement. So we, we had someone uh, in my stream voting for Zorb and one vote for Sonya. So Sonya, number one farmer in A. But Sonya mostly plays on the other server, doesn't he? <laughs> it makes it even worse. <laughs> right? Although, number one farmer, I'd be qualified that he's just even with Delta 9 in this game, so... Well, it should be versus Crack Shot, right? So, yeah, Sonya is up 100 farm on Crack. That's that's very yes, significant. That is, that is significant. I guess I was going for farm on the map. There's, there's the Chrono Rift. Yeah, the, the Chrono Rift... It's it, it's actually interesting to see in a Void versus Void the Chrono Rift in play, right? Because it does slow down the weapon attack speed. And even though the Void Ray can fly out of it very easily, you know, that, that's time where the beam is not on you. It's not on Sonya, if you're Sonya here. And uh, it, certainly they don't want to waste their blink just to get out of a Chrono Rift. So it, it is, you know, these mind games just to, to keep crack shot. You know, see if see if you can just tilt him a little bit. Just get him a little bit annoyed at all these rifts, all this just stuff on the map. Yeah, when you yeah. in a V, you can really get it into some strange positions. Well, I think if I was yeah. aces high, I think I might try to distract somebody with my void ray and then kill them with a levy. I mean, you've got to have your other side lane ship be... you got to have them be a contributor to this game. It goes back to what we were talking about before the game even started. Like, is Levy the right choice? Can it contribute? 
So Abra still purely on imp. Delta has picked up Frenzy, Corruption, Interception, and Bioplasmid. Red Dog, Imp, and 180 on the Shield Recharge. Uh, and yeah, Crack Shot as I showed before. Um, for the record, Red Alert and Yvonne did not PP at the start of every game, did they? Or did they? No, they didn't. No, they did yeah. not. But Red Alert has paused here. Yes, so they have, they have is, paused this here. This is the first, game pause. first pause. And I think, actually, last game, I think it was Aces High who had paused at one point, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I think, think I so. don't recall now. Yes, it was after the first push where Delta came down yes. to one bar. Yeah, and, and Delta was the one who called PP and paused it. Yep. And Sanic has picked up Blackout. I think I should also mention that. So, uh... We are we have a blackout from Red Alert that we do not have from Ace High at this point. Yeah, and Red Alert after holding the forward cloud, Ace's cloud there in this in this four cloud map, this cloudy map, they've pulled a four hundred farm lead. And and Abra on uh, Raven is not banking enough to get blackout on this back right now. Mm -hmm. He does not have enough for blackout currently. Yeah, just 266. He's put more of his money into speed. But, I mean, the, the 400 score difference is really almost entirely on Dead Knight, right? Yes, I agree. And you're going to expect to be down in farm when you're down a ship. Not that the Aces High can't still make a play. But what are those playmaking spells, right? It's Blackout, it's... Um... Well, he does have Frenzy on the levee. And intercept, and corruption. Yeah, the lovey can is gonna have to get in here and work with the void ray in some situation. Or you get corruption on a battle cruiser, void ray blinks in, uh, beams them down before the lockdown can really interrupt the uh, the double charge. Um, but one big concern here for Aces High is that Red Dog is really struggling in farm. Sanic is also struggling in farm from uh, Red Alert. But uh, Red Dog, yeah, you know, the, it, this, this Arbiter is really just kind of a, a floating shield battery with occasional feedbacks right now. Uh, it's hard to get a big map impact. Three to four minutes. So it's, it's a little bit long for a pause, actually. Uh, yeah, five minutes is the max according to the tournament rules. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been paused right now. Yeah, so Sanic really committed very heavily to this blackout. 450 energy... The Imp, uh, and has Sanic also picked up, uh, Radar now? It's, oh, I have to check the upgrades, I don't know yeah, that I can it, tell. Yeah. He does not have Radar. Yeah, so, so, really committing to Blackout before Radar is, is an interesting choice as well. I mean, yeah, I know that the five-minute rule, I'm, but there, there's there been 40-minute pauses in this tournament from... Uh, I, I recall that. I recall that game. <laughs> <laughs> so I, the, I feel like the, the rules have not been terribly consistently enforced. I don't think anyone has been disqualified because of a pause taking too long. When I would say, I, I agree with that, because I think you play more for the spirit of the tournament and why we're playing this and... To promote the game we want more people to play and um i think a strict adherence to the rules kicking people out because of that, that sort of thing is is not what we want to bring across with this type of a event yeah yeah there, there needs to be some sort of middle ground you know i think five minutes is too low because any sort of internet issue can can go on for at least five minutes you know just just to replace batteries can you know that's that's pushing five minutes um but, but some, you know, somewhere jokes, between that and the 40-minute totally pause, right? The jokes were totally worth it, though. Like, what What did he say? Uh, bell fork? Say fork? <laughs> what do you eat soup with? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you got me with that. That was great. Oh, man. Um, no, I, I agree that 40 minutes was a bit long. However, as, as a participant in that game, I would rather... Do that and make sure that the game gets played appropriately by both teams then try to call for some sort of forfeit that's my position yeah i mean my concern is more that you know when you go above five minutes on a pause at that point right i mean the question is do i need to pause my stream or something right i mean uh i guess that but except for that um at this point everyone knows 
I, yeah. I guess unless you pause it thinking that is there a warp trick but at, at this point everyone knows because then when they unpause all they're going to be looking at on the stream is a paused game right <laughs> and, and i mean even if they they look at the stream and they're like oh yeah now we know that sanic has a blackout they can't do a damn thing about it right now, not without yeah. getting the Arbiter and the, the Ravens more farm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you can expect it, or you can suspect it. But yeah, yeah, you, you have to be able to anticipate that against Sonya White, you're going to get Blackout. Oh, I'm sorry, against Crackshot, uh, you know, you have this, this 300 farm void rate. You're going to be getting Blackout pretty early. Yeah. Although this is, a, you know, we're we're down to the semifinals here, and um, it's an elimination game for Aces High. So I, I also the, the oh, that, I needed the, to double check that is is it the finals? That's a best of five. That's my understanding. Is every game until the finals is best of three. So, um, however, I don't know. It, like you said, we we got to check. We always got to check the tournament rules. But Every I, time I, there's one of these long pauses, we end up spending half of it just trying to reread <laughs> and understand the rules. The rules. Well, I, what I was going to say, what I was getting at, is the other side of the coin is, for Aces High, this is, the, like Praxis was saying, they've practiced, they've played, you know, they get on here and they do this, and um, this is an elimination, an elimination game for them, and if they want to use the rules to their favors, it's not that that's evil, Right. Delta 9 has announced that they will go to burn Red Alert's village to the ground. <laughs> All right. Seems like things are ready game. to get back going here. Very offensive. Here comes the game starting again. I mean, I would have expected like an Eastern Ukraine sort of joke here, right? I mean, <laughs> clearly he had to take a break so that he could go and annex another country. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Well, Ace is, Geo is uh, one of the. <laughs> Aces is one of the better teams at playing a ship down there. They're by far not out of this game. They have oh, players no, who yeah. understand Iverson. how to come back from a one ship disadvantage. And Red Alert actually could be in danger of playing a little bit too last. Of, of thinking, oh, one ship up is, is a big advantage and they can just farm. But they've really got to keep the pressure on here. Yeah, and Aces High already has... Um... They already have Dead Knight flying an observer of by Vo the Void Ray versus Void Ray battle. Man, that was that was a harsh in from Sanic right there. Delta begins casting Bioplasmid, and he's imped before he gets it off. I have to wonder, you know, why he didn't drop Corruption first and then follow up with the Bioplasmid. Although maybe he wouldn't have had energy at that point. Certainly not after the imp. And it looked like too they were backing, so I think they're just throwing down spells on their way back to base. That's one thing with a, a longer pause, it's hard to remember the feel of the game. Like, what were you doing when it was paused? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I know that during some long pauses, that can be the moment where you're like, okay, is there a kill somewhere here? You know, if we all cut now, now that we have, like, this moment of total coordination, can we really make something happen? But in that situation, there really wasn't. Yes, I agree. And, and that one is more clear cut, but... Even in in-houses, I've had pauses where people say, oh, were we backing? Were we not backing? Were we trying to... What were we doing? <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the next team did not go to waste. There's the frenzy. They gained the knobs. Yes, yes. Where yeah. is the corruption? You yeah, know, especially yeah. if Fig Jam ever gets on or anything, you, you, you'd think the corruption would be the first thing to cast, or I don't know. Delta probably plays a lot more Leviathan oh, than I do. Forward by Crack. Yeah, Crack okay. is putting pressure on, on Sanya, and Crack has really done a really good job, a great job of, of preventing and blunting Sanya's ability to farm Delta up until now. And actually, Delta 9 now is the lead ship in terms of farm, and this is one of the few games, I think, where Sanya has not been the, the most heavily farmed ship. And that's and even is, without Acid. Yeah, and this is Crackshot's opportunity to catch up with his Void Ray opponent here. 481.5.7 compared to Yeah, I don't think you can catch up that quick, but yeah, you get, you get there. Get, get a lot closer, at least. Yeah, it's it's pretty... Yeah, he, he may not catch up completely, but he's going to close that gap, I'm sure. Now, this is the interesting point about the, 
365 gameplay is that the team with six ships will generally hold a farm advantage for some time. If they don't out farm significantly, then the team with five ships starts increasing their advantage on a ship by ship basis. If you look at the farm now, the ships on, on HSI are all over 500 except for Red Dog, their Arbiter support. And uh, Red Alert still mostly under 500. Yeah, and Crankshot came within 50 of uh, Sanya, but it's hindered by Sanya's continued dedication to farm deny with the Nova. Yeah, so the team with six has to be careful. If the team with five here in this case, Aegis I, if they get together and ball up and push on one part of Red Alert's composition, they, they go for one ship, then they can get a kill pretty easily, just based on the strength of their ships. Well, well let's not forget that Ace of Sanity still have an Arbiter, which can make clones later on. Yeah, one, one thing I was wondering about last game was why they weren't cloning, why the uh, the Overlord didn't pick up Storm Command and then they cloned the Overlord, right? I think that's still an effect in this version, right? Where if you clone an Overlord with Storm Command, it's the same effect as though you have two Overlords with Storm Command. Is that right? I'm not sure about that. You, you know, we actually try to bust that man, and it's just a man. Oh, uh, really? Cloning an Overlord would make... Uh, double swarm command that doesn't work uh, at least not in this version then yeah i th I, I thought it was version. i thought it might have been specific to like one version but i don't remember which one it was cloak now from red dog so ability to make a big difference in protecting delta 9 if it comes down to that lance up to three, two 2,000 damage on Fig Jam. Abra's defensive matrix uh, is not quite on uh, perfect yet. Sonya continuing to taunt Crackshot with those Chrono Rifts. Beam speed difference is uh, a noticeable. You know, it's the, the 0.23 beam speed versus the 0.31 beam speed. Hawks side last up to 1800. 13 range. Ace's eye here, they're getting close to a point where if they work together and they make a push, they could take a ship out. But but they've got to be opportunistic and they've got to be aggressive. And typically they are. Typically they are, but in this situation where Ooh. down blackout oh, there we go that was that looked defensive but let's see that raven's in trouble sanic is a target delta is on sanic yeah delta is that's, sanic that's is that's going that's down the raven has gone down but correction we get out oh he did does everyone he get out here i think they are is it a clean kill is it a clean raven kill Ivan is low are. They can't it push is. us any further. That is a big, big pickup for Aces that High. Was, and that's what we were talking about. That blackout made the big difference. They were able to coordinate a, a, a play. Are you going to see a PP? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sanic was the lowest farm ship, but the, the imp and the blackout, I mean, you, there's no mistaking it. That That is a huge huge difference maker when you're playing versus an enemy void ray. Well, yeah, Raven, you don't want to lose your Raven, regardless of its level of farm. Yeah, Hawk has to pick up Spotter Everyone's now, I have to imagine. To Fast map. forward. Oh, there he is. He did, he did blink forward. I don't think this is a kill, but it's definitely Aces showing what they're about right now. Yeah, continuing to show aggression. So that, that's, you know, finally we're seeing the Leviathan really showing off its strengths, right? You know, we were I know we were talking a little bit of smack about the Leviathan in that, that last game. Yeah, well that's what that was the key that was I think Ace's key to this game is that their levy needed to facilitate making that play on the support and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, and I, I think in a way the Leviathan makes a lot more sense in this comp than it did in the last comp, right? Because here, void versus void, the Leviathan um, has a much stronger follow-up if it can get on the Raven, right? If 
if the Leviathan is on the Raven and then the Void can get in and just get a little bit of damage on, they can really solidify a kill, especially, but I mean, that blackout from Abra was just huge. That was game-changing blackout. Very strong coordination from, from SSI here. Yeah, they brought him right into their towers. That's a, that's a perfect spot to make a blackout. Great map position. And, and I mean, who knows? It could go either way. At this point, you have to wonder, is this gonna, is our first semifinals match gonna go to game three? Here they're pressing again on several. Daniel White warping in. Yeah, this is, this is Red Alert's tower going down here. I mean, metaphorically speaking, this is their, they've got to recompose themselves. They were up a ship, now they lost one. Are you gonna psychologically throw the game or are you gonna bring yourself back into this and compose it and make a play of your own? Well, it's interesting to watch what sorts of ups they, they get in response to a loss like that, right? So one thing I notice here is Severf has upgraded his explosive charge up to 2400 damage, right? So, you know, other ways of dealing with the Void Ray. You gotta have something other than just the Raven, especially when you get to this point. Hawk has, of course, picked up Spotter. Yvonne, uh, only 1500 on the, the Thermal Lance. Hawk, of course, always has had Scan and Lockdown through the whole game. Tin Shield, so he's not as easy of a target. He is, of course, you know, really the next big target here, I think, would be. I think would be. is in trouble here on the top. They've got a Spotter, and they've got Crackshot Oh, on. yeah. Whoa, this oh, is, no, this is, sure. this is very hot either way. Crackshot goes down. Oh my God. It wow. It was the, uh, the purifier. He didn't Tanya expect that. Like, he looked to be in trouble, but then all of a sudden with the purifier. Well, they had that, the. Well, they had that, the expected that at all. He didn't know he had purity. Yeah, purifier suddenly comes out and then the, the energy is gone. The, the ob is there, but Sonya doesn't even cloak. Sonya just dumps beam. On to crack, and that's where void versus void. That that beam speed, you really did, have to watch uh, it. Did, did he, crack shot, turn on his he did, but he ran out of energy with yeah, the oh the purifier. It, it looked like Crackshot had the advantage with the uh, observer there, and then all of a sudden, Sonya just with that with that purifier, man. What an incredible play from Sonya White. And and right after right Delta right on right Hawk, right Delta is thirsty. There he's must be it. vengeance. He's Hawk is 2,000, 1,800, 1,000. Go Hawk goes that. down. Play he's for committed. play. They need to make a play. Severf is in stasis. Sonya wants, wants vengeance, really wants to protect the dread. Sonya's How do they protect Sonya. the dread in this situation? Sonya's low. He, I don't think Sonya really does not have the energy to, to make a big difference here. Just, just dropping the chrono to slow him down. Severf, you don't want to go back here. Levy, Levy is low on energy as well. I think Ivan, Ivan Apollo with that um, invuln, maybe it could have been a little bit better for tanking, but it worked out to get away. I yeah, managed to get Sever out of that situation. I was thinking how to pull on four. This is turning out to be more interesting. This man. is an incredible game. Incredible, indeed. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so advantage. Who has the advantage now? I. Support. Double tank versus double tank BC Void Ray. The, the Ovi was a huge pickup. Up. They have no DPS on, on Ace's side. Uh, I think if Sonya White, Sonya White starts to threaten their towers, then I think he can put that to their advantage. Yeah, I kind of have to agree. It, the, the double support with the Leviathan is, you know, that is nothing to ignore, but the Void Ray. In, in many situations is the stronger ship, especially when there's it becomes a four versus four, right? Because the Void Ray be, starts to really pick off when it can just get all the farm. And yeah, so the Void Ray, I agree, the Void is going to be really strong, but now um, it, Abra is not under-farmed as a Raven, so if you've got, you've got a, a Raven who knows how to play, he knows what a Void Ray is all about, and he has less ships to worry about. So we're going to see, I, I think we're going to see the rest of this game is going to be Abra versus Sonya and see how that uh, play, yeah, that and I, plays I, I out. Yeah, really, and I think really, it will really put Sonya and White's uh, void rate. Is to this going to be stasis on the BC? No, 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 we locked down. No, this is, this is uh, support showing strength to push the void ray back. He's got to respect that they can either black him out or, or stasis, and so he's going to run away. 
we got to be really careful sees... with that stasis. Yeah, the, yeah, the stasis he here could be very big. Until they see that blackout, or he blinks the blackout, or it's used, they've got to respect that it's going to hit. Red Dog making a move on... Is this going to be a stasis? Not yet. Not yet. And vulnerability on Yvonne. They turn. The turn is on Red Dog. Red Alert wants and that they, Arbiter. They they gonna go Red Alert's going to counter Whoa, why, why is the beam on the invulnerable ship? Lance is all over yeah. the place. Delta taking beam. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of damage. I don't think he'll be able to continue that push with that old Whoa, level. Abra. You yeah. have a Severf on you. Severf has 13 gas. Has 11 shields. Now, if if I were playing Sun and White's VR, ignore all that noise. Yeah, you guys should go. Go, for the go, tower. go take a tower right now. Go take a tower, Sun. Yeah, sun, sun is thirsty, though. All these tanks fighting against each other. Like, it's all just noise. Well, especially when you. Yeah, especially when the other team has double support. He's doing well. Base they, is continue up. they continue getting stronger. And can anyone tell me who is actually controlling the observer at this point? <laughs> I, I believe it's Dead Knight. Since he was the first yeah, one. Yeah, he was the oh, first yeah, one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, just I everyone is just ignoring the entire bottom half of the map here. <laughs> Who cares about that I mean, farm? Aces, their goal is going to be to take out that BC. Yeah, if the BC goes looking, down this way. Aces really trying to push Red Alert back and win some bomb plays. They're, they're really letting that bottom lane leak a lot. Well, both, both teams are, are leaking a lot in bottom at the moment. I think Aces is probably slightly worried about that void, but they I think they have confidence yeah, in that. Slightly worried. Even. I think they've got confidence in Abra on Raven. I think they've got some confidence in that. Aces right now, I, I don't think that they're panicking at this point in the game. No, I mean, these are, are solid players. They're, they're not going and, to yeah. to lose and, it and all really, at once, but I, I, really I think, think so. yeah. they certainly I, are, I think they are aware this is a, a rough situation. I agree. I mean, they're basically counting on their levy right now. I'm surprised they haven't found that observer yet. They know the observer's there. But they haven't really made an effort to detect it. Fast forward hey, warps in. Fast forward does have a nuke now. Why does he want a nuke here? Certainly you don't want to nuke the Leviathan. What would be the point of that? No, well, the Leviathan I think... kind of stopped on a dime there and has to intercept out. He's taking a lot of damage. Blink the... Oh, oh, oh but he eats out. the feedback. He blink blink blinks the M, eats Blackout the feedback. He could black him out right now. He should what? black him out right now. What, what is Sonya doing? Sonya, that was like, oh, Abra should have blacked him. Oh, he's locked what out. What is going on? Whoa. Oh, oh, whoa, it's Delta. If Abra would not have been locked down, he could have Nuke on Red Dog. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know if that was lag related or what, but that was... That was, that was pretty bad. Play. That was really bad at it. That really, Sonya needs to buy a drink for Fast Forward there because Fast Forward, he locked down Abra on the Raven. Otherwise, Blackout was forthcoming and Sonya would have died to the levee. Sure. I, I, I have to think Sonya maybe was just getting really thirsty for Red Dog. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, he had blinked the EMP, but you got to know that, that Blackout is still in the bag. And this is this is you know a small window of opportunity where where Delta and these other ships can just really start to finally get some farm, and you know get those Leviathan upgrades, take advantage of of the composition that they have here. Sonia coming in from the top, just kind of always keeping charge up practically. You know, just in case, you know, if there's a good opportunity to to blink in and drop the double charge on that Raven, he would love to just pick off that Raven. Yeah, so just like to to thank all of our our thirty viewers right now. I, mean, I I would guess I don't I don't know for sure, but I would guess that um, Abra is saving that blackout for a save to, to save uh, his team, unless he sees, unless he watches uh, 
send you a blink and he knows he can land it for sure, I don't think he's gonna black out. He just did. Well, that's for a save though, because look, he's got a nuke on his levy. Now, uh, Sanya has to be conscious that the blackout has been played. He's got a window yep. of opportunity here to push forward and do some damage. He's sitting on 200 energy. Yeah, he's low on energy. I, I don't think he's comfortable jumping in there to make a play right now. Oh, it's an M. Now he's out of energy. Dropping Yamato. Miles. Actually, I haven't checked. It's uh, not 10 cooldown on Yamato. That's not... Uh, Fully operational Yamato spam yet. 18 gats on Zever with 1.9 speed. That's we are clearly in the late game when you have a threat at 1.9. I think you're clearly in the late game when you have a threat with 18 <laughs> gats and, and yeah. regardless of speed. <laughs> now Ace's eye is engaged to uh, Red Alert's tips on the top of the map while. Tanya White basically free farms the bottom. Yeah, so long we'll as they see. can all keep themselves safe. We'll see how long before but. he does what he did last game. You know, Sanya, when he felt like the pressure was on, he went and took their tower. Um, Yvonne is down. Game. Yvonne is at 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Yvonne oh, goes yeah. down. He took there's, a lot of damage. There's where the levy gets strong, especially with double support. And we had a void ray out of Delta just out of capable of yeah. incredible burst damage at this point. Sanya is on server, over, but the ship is static Sanya. and his warp is cancelled. Yeah, Sanya got his warp was cancelled by farm and he so was Aces farming. Turned the tables. Aces was down a ship and now they're up one. This, this is an play. incredible counterplay, really. This is we are now watching the Delta Nine show. <laughs> well, that's the strength of the levy, especially but with two supports. You know, we, we all were surprised when they ran Leviathan after it seemed to have so little impact in the last game, but Delta has just proven everyone wrong and said, no, Leviathan is the solution so long as other things don't go wrong because it's just capable of incredible <laughs> play. The tides have turned. But this yeah. game is still far from over. Not, not with a twelve hundred farm Ooh. void ray. Certainly that not. That was a, that was a, almost a canceled warp. I'm not sure it would have resulted in anything, but would have been interesting. That EMP landed just a half second after uh, Sanya warped out. So Aces here has turned the table. Aces ships are all two shots, except for Big Jam, still three shots. Are they going to pressure a tower here? Tanya has not gone two shot yet. He's still three shot, which affects his ability to farm, affects his ability to use energy nova. Big's on the tower, but his team doesn't seem to be interested. Well, with, with Sanya, the 675 energy, he can spam the nova quite easily. The question here is, does, does Sanya, you know, go down and go farm? Does he set up... You know, what what exactly do you set up here? How do you break this this double support around this big, fat, mean-looking leviathan? The That's 16 great, tentacles, the, the 13 bile swarm. Yeah, I think Fornex has hit it. At this point, you want some sort of a 1v1. If that means somebody chases you and you warp back... You make and, him gamble. Yeah. He's trying to hear, he pulls the levy, starts to warp, and Aegis collapses back to the middle, and now Sanya. Now he's going for the tower. In the bottom for the tower. Same as last game. This is the the fake out for a tower kill. And this is what Sanya watching on the earlier in the game. So he yeah, starts maybe, back on the tower. Maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gets Delta gets on fast forward. Oh, oh yeah, here's the levy. Levy is is on fast forward. He's dropped bioplasma. He's dropped corruption. Fast forwards at five thousand. Battle station goes no, down. No, Sanya's think, doing his yeah. job. Does fast forward make it I out? Think, I think fast forward. Four thousand. I think he's out of this. I, I think he's gonna survive. Yeah, he's gonna nuke. Back. nuke on Delta. There. Sonia warps in from taking the now. tower. Severf is on the yeah. Delta. Delta is still very high. Uh, I think Severf is okay. I think Severf is okay. Team on Fig. Think... Sonia on Fig. I think that's gonna be okay for Fig too. The yeah. Yeah, he has enough energy right here. Now. Whoa. Oh. Stasis oh, on Sonya. Severf <laughs> is at 500. Severf goes down. No e shield pops. Oh, no, yeah, no e shield. 
now I don't know that Sanya's getting out of this. Nah, he's stuck. Oh no, but Amber just used. Oh. Feedback. I think Sanya's in trouble. I think he's Storm. dead. Oh, this is going to game three. This, this is gonna. This, We're going to game three. We are going to game three, ladies and gentlemen. Aces high versus red alert. Neither team letting a single mistake slip by. What an incredible pair of games so far. I think it was a good move going for the tower. I think they overcommitted on the counter push. I think they should have been happy that they got the tower and. Regrouped. He might have been fast forward, tried to make a stand just by themselves, and it really did not work out. Yeah, they they should have been happy with the tower, happy that the BC got out of there, regroup, and do the same thing to the other tower, or at least make aces respect that you can do the same thing to the other tower. Well, if you uh, would like to nominate a play of the game, feel free to do so in the, the stream chat. Um, my goodness. There were lots of plays that game. <laughs> that was a good game. Alvedicano. <laughs> I'm not kind of trying to, to create the lobby again. You're welcome to try. I have to imagine it's going to be aces or uh, red I think alert. That's, yeah, it's, yeah, they, they think that's optimistic. I'm waiting for Abra to create. I still remember when Helveticano made a bunch of uh, rooms for that last tournament last year. <laughs> I tried to make that last tournament work. He did. Yeah, Greater Ninja was very intent to uh, <laughs> take his gold medal. And force it. I don't. I did not necessarily agree with the Sunday Whites blinking like that. No, especially with their the the right in the middle of the yeah the ultimates up on the uh, on the other team supports. I mean, I think he knew uh, that Sever was in trouble and he was trying to make the best of it, but it. I don't know. Not like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I really hope you are actually going to get a game three here. With the amount of time oh, we're taking so in the lobbies. Oh, Abra has created a lobby. Yeah, what did I say? <laughs> but this is now getting well it's it's fine, I have to imagine, for red alert, but this is getting very late for Aces High. It is. It's it's um for me here in Eastern time zone, it's pushing two thirty in the morning. I'm going to, to step away from my mic for just a moment, but Love to hear your your thoughts uh, when I get back. Just give me one second. Yeah, we're cutting to commercial break here. Yeah, well, no, I. As far as commercials go, I think that last game was everything we could have hoped for in a game two. They red alert ran the void ray again. Aces high ran their own to try to counter it. There was at one point red alert was way up. At at one point, aces looked like they were up, and it was. I mean, it was anybody's game right until the end, so those are the kind of games you like to watch. Those are very exciting. I mean, if this was a paid show, I think I, I had gotten my money's worth. I agree.
I had to feel pretty bad for them, where then, conversely, Red Alert felt really good. Until they lost. Was it, what, what did Red Alert lose on that levy push? It was Airbnb? just an emo emotional roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, it was back and forth. It was plays on both sides. What's the time difference for where uh, Red Alert is playing? I'm not sure I, where it is. I believe they're, um, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning there by now. Okay. Yeah. So, six hours ahead of Eastern. I know in Eclipsis we have quite the spread in time zones. I think between I think our biggest spread is between player uh, like our regular players is eight hours. All right, so we. So getting more, but I think they're they're probably talking in TeamSpeak, trying to decide who is going to play this third game. Uh, and we did have different players in game two than than game three, so we'll we'll have to see who ends up getting in here. We do have Hawk and Fast Forward and Sonya and Sever so far. No Ivan. Where is Ivan? There he is. Oh, he's coming in now. So now. The same question that I posed before, are they going to run Void Ray? Yes and yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Sonya won against Crackshot, right? Sonya did his kill. It was the middle of that collapse. Ooh, we have yeah. Amigo Deer coming in, so we're going to get Amigo Deer on, on Overlord. What do you think Hawk will be then? He might play something heavy. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Red Alert went even heavier. Just three tanks again? Yeah. No, I, I think Voidre again, to be honest. Look, put it this way. Game two, uh, Red Alert versus T-Loss, after we beat them, they still went Voidre third game. User joined your channel. Ooh, Greater Ninja popping in here. How's it going, buddy? A special guest. Yes. Welcome. Oh, your mic is turned off. Never mind. Coming into it to lurk, just like manual <laughs> and agile eye. Entering the room like a boss. Hello, ninja. Well, it. I would say it is going to be hard to top that game too. That, that was, was just. It was. It was a beautiful thing. It was a back and forth. It was either team could have won at different points in the game, and and actually when both. When either team got down, or it looked like it was going against them, they they made a play to come back. Even right up to the very end, Red Alert had made that play on the tower before they ended up ultimately losing the game, but it was back and forth right up to the very end. Are you still at that coffee shop? Hey guys, what's up? Are you home, or are you still there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, that's, that's crazy music. I was like, what the? Oh, yeah, I, I played the... I had to come up with a theme for Aces High, so I, I played the Aces High theme I came up with. That's uh, Arriba. I figured you guys were being nice to me for some reason, and it's because you're streaming, right? Yes, that would be it. We are still streaming. I appreciate it. Do you feel like we're only nice to you when we're streaming? Oh, absolutely not. No. Uh -huh. You're nicer, though. It was just a dead giveaway, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the instant greeting as you enter the channel, right? So it's it's the, the heavy awareness of what's going on in TeamSpeak. Man, I don't, I don't even know anymore, man. What's going on in this world? 
the iron wall broke down that game. That's that's what happened. They but, had it. I mean, I think they had it. They had that game. But the early kill, six versus five, you, you got to figure They had that game that twice. Yeah, you got to figure they're going to close it out. But credit, all credit to Aces High for coming back and User making was plays. Moved that to channel. User was moved out of your channel. Aces High made the plays they needed to make, and their levy contributed, despite everything we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is there any uh, spectator spots? You know, Ninja can take my spot. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, Porny, thank you for your services today. It was it was a wonderful time streaming with you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Crater Ninja, you can now enter the lobby! I will have to say not to kick. I still, uh, I still see your name censored every time I type it. Porn. Oh yeah, it's like the, you have it set for mature content or whatever. The these guys thought the the other greater ninja w was me. The, yeah, the red alert guys. Oh, they yeah. Tell them look for the clan tag, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised, I couldn't tell. For those of you who are not aware, we've been having problems with a, a fake greater ninja who's been opening public lobbies, uh, changing the teams to two versus 10, and then booting everybody from them. It is time to build a wall. A wall between the ninjas. Did Hawk leave? Do you think? Do you think they're replacing Hawk? That uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I I I will say this. Tired as I am, I want to see this next game. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, it should be a reasonable, pretty reasonable time in uh, Moscow, so it should not be... Red Alert, I don't think, is struggling for players right now. Or at least that would not be what I would think. No, it looks like they're missing Stanek. Stanek played both of their last two games and is not in the lobby right now. Yeah, it's, it's now 10, 1040 a.m. in Moscow, so this is uh, about as good as of a time as it gets, I, I'm pretty sure, for Red Alert. It looks like Red Alert only has six players left on. Stanek might have left. Uh, with something else to do. Yeah, that it, it is. What is it? It's, uh, Saturday, though, right? So. Yeah. Oh, oh Sanic's in the lobby. So Saturday they, morning. I think they were they were replacing Hawk for Sanic. Some finagling on who actually plays the game. They do try to mix up the players for for uh, a lot of these games, I think, because you know they have a big clan and they like to get uh, different people in different games, so they're never entirely predictable, even though their comps tend to be very similar, right? You know, they, they tend to go the Bork mid. Uh, with Sonya, they very often run the, the Void side, and then the, uh, the D on the other side, so we saw pretty much the same comp from them both of the first two games. Uh, do you think they're going to run the same comp again? They won one and they lost the other. You can't exactly say it's the comp then, can you? Yeah, I think no, they might run a similar comp. I think they might still run Sanya on Void. Well, and especially if you go with the uh, Pornexus analysis of the TLOS games, they just kept running Void. No matter what happened, they just keep running Void. I know that it, you know, that's... When you run a void, the void is going to be making an impact on the game one way or the other, right? I mean, uh, whether you win or lose, somehow you're gonna you're gonna end up looking at the void and saying, you know, was this the reason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, they're sticking with the same core. They have Sanya, Ivan, Sever, and Danik. Uh, they have Amigo back. He played first game. Did not play the second game. And fast forward 
played the second game, did not play the first game. Yeah, so I have to imagine that, you know, Amigo generally plays those, so Hawk for Amigo, it's still going to be an O. Um, fast forward, I mean, if fast forward is in here, I have to think they're going to run fast forward on the BC. Um, so I can't, I don't see where they would be changing the comp here, you know, um, you know, what would they be switching out in this situation? Oh, nothing. Riddler's not going to change their comp. <laughs> I don't think they are. Well, we had very different comps from Aces High in Game 1 and Game 2. Do you think we're going to see Crackshot on Void? I, I, I had been anticipating Delta on Void, but it ended up being Crackshot on Void. Um, do you think Crackshot is going to run Void again this game? He that did. It was a, very effective last game. I say that's a great question because, um, as mu I just don't as much as we all anticipate Red Alert running a Void again. I don't know that Aces High is going to run Void two games in a row. So I'd be very, I'd be surprised if they ran Void two games in a row. Sorry, the porn. <laughs> 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 Are you guys in a separate lobby now? No, I'm in a game. Just pub. User left your channel. Entire games will probably be played during the course of this lobby. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> we can have them come back and give us a recap of their game before this starts. <laughs> I mean, both teams have to just be thinking like, okay, we won one, we lost the other. How do we seal the deal? Yeah, this goes back to Pornexus's mind games. Like, what are they going to run? Are you going to try to counter what they do, or are you going to try to run what you think you can run? I, I've, I've kind of, uh, I'm leaning on not overthinking it with Red Alert. That's, that's kind of my experience with them. We, I think we overthought it when we played them in 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 house and uh, in the TLOS versus Red Alert games. Yeah, I mean, they 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 can run Sonya on Void Ray, but most of the time you have to think Sonya is probably gonna go Void, and most of the time Sonya does go Void. Absolutely. Um, do you think we're gonna see Red Dog on Arbiter again? Hundred percent. I think so. Red Dog's probably their best uh, support player. Although Abra had a, a Abra, it's you know, Abra changed on. games with with that blackout and uh, yeah, yeah, that blackout made the difference. Although Abra, he, he he's uh, pretty good across a range of ships. We could see Carrier. We could see a Dreadnought again. Yeah, as I say, Abra is kind of their. Uh, renaissance player or whatever the term is is he can play multiple ships so he's the wild card he could play another levy they could play two levies two levies i don't know i have to give up my my uh, casting career before it starts if they run two levies i think I'd, i i don't know i'd be very very surprised yeah i agree I mean, do you, do you think we're going to see Delta on Levy for the third game in a row? Because, I mean, clearly he he was a game-changer last game. Yes, also 100%. He was. He's been playing a standing Levy this whole tournament. He was, and, and, and nothing against his Levy, but the first game, I think Levy as a ship just didn't work out. So, one game it didn't work out, one game it made the difference. Thoughts on uh, User joined your channel. Dead Knight or Fig Jam? Fig Jam, 100% Colossus. I agree. Dead Knight, he could play Raven or Battle Cruiser. It really depends. It, th that's the, the variation right there. Abra, Dead Knight, and Crackshot. Yeah, and, and generally so far, it's, it's, I mean, who has changed? It was Crackshot. Um... So it was those three. Yeah. Well, we haven't had a ready yet in the 15 minutes of this lobby so far. So neither team is... They're, they're thinking about this. <laughs> they're, they're having probably much of this, the same conversations. 
So, so how did Aces High do in the game where Crackshot or or when they had a Void Ray? I mean, that whole game was. I mean, you just have to watch it. Man. That was. It's... Oh yeah, that was a great game. I, the way Aces High did is ultimately they won, but they were losing, then they were winning, then they were losing, then they were winning. I mean, was, that's how it went. It was back and forth. It was a great game. Yeah. So they they lost the BC at the very beginning, which seemed like a huge blow, and. Uh, then they got a, a pickup of the Raven. Then they lost Crackshot on the Void Ray, but almost at the exact, or just moments later, uh, Delta dove on the Overlord and picked up the Overlord. And uh, then they just uh, managed to, to just keep picking off ships. It was, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, I was going to say, that goes back to kudos to Delta, because every time it seemed like Aces were out of it and they needed to make a play. He was there to make a play. So that was great. Dead Knight with his different avatar. Just 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 to be different, I think. Yeah. I don't I mean, know. What I I don't see it. I see this they all look the same to me. Yeah, same. Really? Yeah. I think the Raven and the Ab did a really good job that last game. Oh, absolutely. Ice is high, yeah. I mean, it was Red Alert who kind of started the, the all-team same profile image thing, right? No, that goes back to at least Cyberdyne and Eclipsis, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It does look nice, though. I'll say that. Awkward dead air. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, we are coming up. You've got the timer on the stream. We're coming up on a yeah, amount of time at con constant casting. We're, we're now on two and a half hours. Um... So there was the comment that my my theme song for Aces High was uh, a terrible. What was, what was it? Pick? Oh, the the music is bad. <laughs> what what do you think Aces High theme song should be? Something that does not sound like techno and Mexican music at the same time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mexican music. Yeah, it was pretty. I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> I've never Can you heard play it again? again? Can you play it again so I can hear it? I don't know what you're talking about, but I want to hear it now. That, that was like 15 minutes ago. I don't know what's playing Miss now. I want to hear it. I never. I, I don't keep playing music. I, I try not to play too much music because if I play the wrong song, the whole stream gets yeah, muted. Yeah, it's really don't mute our stream. <laughs> it sounded like techno and like a mariachi band or something. You know, <laughs> I love at the same time. It was really odd. <laughs> There we go. There we go, Agile. I have I've linked okay. the song so you can you can listen to it. Oh, I'll, I'll we'll have to. I'm just playing again, but I'll I'll just walk back and listen to it. <laughs> you got to have your priorities straight here. Yeah, priorities straight. Listen to this mariachi music. It's like even, even it. the the this ancient Command and Conquer song that I used for Red Alert, you know, the Hell March, like even that, you know, I always Arriba. <laughs> even the name's funny. Arriba. Oh, you know what I would use for Aces High? I would use White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. Oh, so for songs that I, definitely I will not be able to ever play for more than 30 seconds. But yes. Well, Crazy, this is crazy. just fucked up, man. This, this music's just fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the reasoning behind my choice is uh, White Rabbit's Jefferson Airplane is they've got cards, right, in, uh, in, um, what is it? What the hell is the one that goes down the...
I, I don't know what you're trying to say, I, quite frankly. Oh, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the fairy tale that Disney redid. You go down the rabbit hole, the white rabbit, you chase Oh, you, Alice in Wonderland? From, Alice in Wonderland, yes. yes. From Lewis, Lewis Carroll. Yeah, so in Alice in Wonderland, you have the, um, the cards, right? The Queen of Hearts. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of trippy. So that's like when you're high, you're trippy. So Ace is high. There you go. Fig Jam has disconnected from the lobby. This is concerning. I hope we don't end up suddenly looking at a 5 vs 5. I have to imagine he's just relogging though. I can't believe I couldn't remember Alice in Wonderland. It's a bad sign. Well, I mean, it's just. I mean that that is, game two was such an emotional roller coaster. I think we're yeah, all just a little is. bit drained at the moment, honestly. It is, and it is ten to three in the morning. So, I mean, who do you think had the the play of the game in in game two, or or really just the blackout? The blackout. Probably. Yeah, well, that blackout changed the game. Really Once you know the what they, the rival's gone. Sorry. Oh, no, no, that was good. I think the blackout was a really big play, but then um, I, I'd have to watch the replay to remember who all was involved. But the, at the end, when um, they were all in position to push on both Sever and when Sonya blinked, I mean, that was kind of a team play of the game to end it, right? Because they, they put the pressure on not only the BC, so the BC gets out and he lives. Kudos to Red Alert. They look like they're doing really well. Red Alert overcommits just a tiny bit, and Ace's High takes advantage. I, that, to me, was the play of the game that ended it. Yeah, Sever didn't need to do that. He just needed to go back. They took a tower. They didn't need to do that. Yeah, uh, I, I want to be more positive. I don't know if yeah. it's as much as Sever for like messing up, but Ace's High had to be there to take advantage of it, so that's the positive yeah. thing. So okay. That was their play of the game. Yeah, for, for me, I mean, there's first there's just the, this the mano a mano duel between Crackshot and Sonya. That was just incredible to watch. But but then when Crackshot goes down, Delta just immediately takes this moment to just dive on the Overlord, total commitment, and picks him off. And and to me, making that sort of reactive play and pulling it off that's that's just huge. Yeah, that was great for Aces to, to make that call and commit to it and to get away with it. That was great. So we, we haven't really heard anything more from Aces High here in terms of uh, when Fig Jam is getting back. Uh, but in the meantime, Red Alert still has not actually said ready. So it's, it's not clear. Uh, it's not... Not entirely clear what, what the situation of the lobby is. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs to just to get up, get some water, stretch your legs a little bit, clear your mind, maybe do some yoga. <laughs> No, I'm hearing the Hallmarks through oh. for Nexus. <laughs> what do you, what do you think, Porny? Do you agree with White Rabbit as being the theme of of Ace Society? I gotta hear it. I'm not sure which part of it's good. It just seemed like that was a good one for them. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit mellow. I mean. Oh, that's true. Maybe not so mellow. Let me look again. Yeah, send me a link of that. White rabbit. Oh, I see it. I wasn't thinking about the mellowness. I was just thinking that there's cards in it. 
It's also relatively high. <laughs> it, it, I, I see where you're going with this. Trying to get Fig Jam back in the lobby. I don't know, do you think there's still uh I don't know where Fig is? Is is, is a chance there a chance there's a blizzard going on there? No one has any idea. So the uh Eclipsis versus DPA semi-final match from all accounts should be 10 p.m. EST tomorrow. Uh, this is... Nine? Is it nine or ten? It, the thread on the forum says 10 p.m. EST. All right. Good, uh, good snow for me. <laughs> That's right. That is that is your team. <laughs> yeah. So, how, how about you, QQQ? Between uh, Aces High and Red Alert, who would you rather go up against in the uh, the finals? If assuming or in, on in the con in the situation wherein ECL goes uh, on to the finals. That's right. No, I mean in all seriousness, all four teams at the end, um, they're all, I'd say, even threats. So you, everyone's got their strengths. I mean. I don't know. I think any team you meet of these last four is going to be a challenge. And we're not, as ECL, we're not looking past DPA by any means. They, they're they right up there with the rest of us. So I don't know. I, I don't have a preference. I'd rather just win it all and, and not, not say. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. It is true, though, that each team plays a little bit of a different strength. Like we're seeing with uh, Red Alert playing Void Ray. Uh, they have played, and uh, more, to, I, mean, I know that Aces High has played Void Ray, Eclipsis has played Void. Um, other teams have too, whether it's Echelon or TLOS. Other teams play Void, but Red Alert has played Void with success more than any other team in the tournament. So it's even of all the, the final four, each team has their their own twist on the game that makes it work for them. It is it is just beautiful watching Sonya work that Void Ray sometimes. Well, I would say that for the Void Ray compositions, it's not the player on the Void Ray who makes or breaks the game. It's the rest of the team who knows how to push with five ships and make room for the Void Ray to, to make plays, make room for the Void Ray to farm up and become a threat. Azul, are you now becoming an Aces High sub? <laughs> Do they need me to move up? <laughs> I, I don't think uh, I don't think Red Alert would be particularly happy with that. We're not ready to go there. Uh, I just. I know it's it's really late. Like even for me, it's three in the morning, and um, it, it's it's definitely hard to schedule games across time zones. I just hope that the the lateness of the game isn't what determines it. Well, looks like we are mass exodusing oh. from the lobby because Fig Jam cannot enter the lobby. Bug lobby. Well, that's good. I'm glad that he's still able to play. I guess that's what I was getting at. Is that I'd rather it not be something like this that ends it because after that great game we just had last game. Right. <laughs> Love to see these two teams play it out. Yeah, I think everyone at this point wants this final game tonight. They don't. They don't want to be wondering who wins the best of three with two games played through tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. Although technically for me it is tomorrow, <laughs> or later today, whenever. Oh. Right? For 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 Red Alert, it is. Uh, it would probably be later today. I don't. I don't even know. I think Ever joined a pub. Okay. <laughs> so you, this you is all part of the mind one. games now. Yeah. All part of the mind games. The next one is legit. Okay, here we go. We're getting in here now. <laughs> oh. 
I guess what I was saying about the Void Rays, even though Aces has the ability to to field one, they've got players that can do it between um, not only Crackshot and I don't remember who else you were saying that can do it as well. Delta 9. Delta 9. Um, even though they have the ability, it's not their go-to. They don't go to that as as their, their um, ship that they want versus I, in an ideal situation, I guess is what I'm saying. Whereas... Right. Oh, go ahead. They used it as kind of a counter to Red Alert's play. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Red Alert, that's their standard. They go to it as a standard. I'd say even, even ECL, we've only run it, what, once in the tournament. So that's, that's versus Red Alert, who runs it several times in a row. Even when it works or doesn't work, they keep running it. So, I think all bets are off. I, I would not be surprised to see another Void Ray from Red Alert, even in this last game. Well, yeah, last game in this series. Yeah, well, I, when... I think Red Alert is hoping it's not the last game. <laughs> <laughs> well, last game for one of these two teams, anyway. No, no, no. It well, will no, not... no, I guess they've got the... Uh... They've got the, yeah, who, the third This place. is the semifinals. Whoever loses this goes on yes. to the semifinals to fight for third yes. place. Yes. In the third place bracket. I, I certainly would not be surprised if Red Alert goes Void Ray as well. It, it is the most successful technique for them, right? So they are likely to go that. Yeah. And so yeah. after after 15, 20 minutes, we do have the first ready from Yvonne and Red Alert. They are ready to go. Fig Jam just said... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no oh. one is buying that. No one is buying that. No, no one is believes it? they're going no. carrier for a minute. <laughs> I'm pretty no. sure he meant C for Colossus. Yeah, no matter what, no one's going to buy that he's going carrier. <laughs> Even if even if Aces High were to run a carrier, it would not be Fig Jam. I would say that. Nothing so against Fig Jam. Ready. I just think that they have other players who would probably do it. <laughs> what is that character? <laughs> Sadek making a sick Russian jokes here. Man, the, every Russian right now is just laughing, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, what, is, what does that mean? So we're getting ready for the third game of the Aces High versus Red Alert series. All right. So since we have some readiest, can we go ahead and uh, we'll reintroduce yeah, we'll our observer group? I am Crazy, aka Why Must I Sign In. I'm joined by QQQ. Hello. Helveticano. Hi. And Greater Ninja. Hello, guys. So who would like to say the uh, the top right team for this game? I can do that. All right, QQQ, you're the man. And so, this is the third of a best of three semi-final group of matches between Aces High and Red Alert. The winner goes on to the finals, the fight for first and second place, and the loser goes on to the alternative bracket to fight for third and fourth place. And we, you know, we've had two late games in a row. I wonder if we're going to have another, or if it's going to be somebody making a play early. So in the bottom left, we have Red Alert, and yes, yes indeed, we do have Sonia White on the Void Ray. We have Ivan Opala going 4-3 Colossus, Amigo Deer going Plague Overlord, Fast Forward going Range, Missile on the BC, Sonic going Imp, and Severf going Dreadnought. The same comp that they have run in the last three matches with many of the same players, but what? Oh my lordy, Play what do we have yeah. from Aces High? Play difference in Aces High, although they did stick with Delta 9 on the levy, he's got constant. We got the, the big, big change is we've got a Guardian in this game, Dead Knight on Guardian with 10 range, 1 score. Abra, Raven, EMP, Big Jam, Standard 4-3, Colo, and Crackshot on the Void Ray with Nova. Oh, and I missed Red Dog with, looks like, Shield Recharge. That's right, yeah, that 120. Game, Crackshot has started across from the Red Knot, and Sonya White in the VR has started across from the Levy. They're not yet lined up. Yeah, we'll see how long they, the te these teams keep that matchup. I think... For now, that would favor um, Aces. 
because the Dread doesn't have bombs. He's not necessarily going to cut in and make any kind of a dangerous play. Whereas the Levy can damage the Void Ray without much recourse at this point in the game. Besides having his farm no but And this map is a wide open map. There's no obstacles, no asteroids, no clouds. Yeah, I mean, Sever can clearly push Crack Shot, but to what to what end? I, he's not going to be able to cut in and do anything and only put himself in danger, so... Here's a good wave of farm for Crack Shot coming right now. One, two, three, four, five patches. No Novus, though. Same on the top. Um, seven patches coming for uh, Sanya if he cuts over and gets him. He's moved to the middle. It looks like Sanya's moving now to the bottom lane to counter... Ah! So you know who's going to get all that farm is Sanic, which is good for him because he's been under-farmed at the beginning of each game. Yeah, he'll catch up a little bit. Not this time. Yeah, oh yeah, he'll catch up. Not under-farmed this time. <laughs> the Guardian can be a really strong choice to win the mid, right? Because you... If it's played well. Yeah, bit, much kite, a lot of kiting, and you know what? Their Guardian is at, what, hero damage? I mean, he's not taking any hits right now, so... Well, I mean, it, it really the, the big strength here is, okay, you know, there's been so much focus on the, the, the Void Ray on the side, and okay, we're going to be dealing with that, we're going to have our own Void Ray, yes. But there's also the fact of, okay, you know, we're running the L, they're not going to run an L, but they're going to have that Colossus in the middle, and as the game really starts to push on, what's one way you really start to just really frustrate the Col the Colossus. You have a Guardian, right? The, the Broodlords are very strong against the Colossus in a late game, and we've seen a late game every game so far. We have, it's although it's um, Aces has got their Levy and their Void that they would like to prioritize farm to, so I'd be surprised if we see significant Broods from Dead anytime soon unless they lose a teammate. My guess would be that he's going to get Throws of Acid as his first upgrade. It would be a good play. The, the Guardian makes the middle of Aces Eye's composition a little squishy in the late game. It's kind of an easier ship for the Void Ray to run down. And uh, Aces doesn't have an Overlord, so they really can't do splash damage with that Plague effect. And this is the first of the three games that Aces High has won the initial push and gotten that initial farm lead. Yeah, the Guardian really helped out with that, I think. Yeah, at each of the other two games, it was Red Alert that did this. Sonya going four beam, no speed, 375 warping, energy. At least two ships are warping to him right now, three, four. It's a little bit of a delay, but they're warping to him. No this blink, kind of so it's... That we didn't see Red Alert making in earlier games. I think if they continue with warp tactics, they, they'll likely catch Aces High off guard, although Aces High might also give it a try. They have the Void Ray as well. Well, it's a little bit more expensive for Aces High, right? Because the uh, neither of the Zerg ships really want to necessarily get an early warp unless they need to for something specific. Yeah, and with that early push, I think Aces is going to feel pretty comfortable. I mean, their their Void Ray is is farmed up well, and their other ships are are okay because of that early push. So I don't think that they're going to feel the need to force it right now. Delta picks up. Rapid regeneration. Abra with that imp. The high energy. No system upgrade. Dead Knight already picking up Broodlords with only level 1. Red Dog staying on dedicated shield recharge and 400 energy. And Fig Sham with Lance. From Red Alert, we have Severf with charges. Amigo Deer, Plague Extension. Yvonne, 8 shields. Fast forward scan. Sanic. Sonny White on Void Ray, he's warping the base. Looks like he might set up a warp trick. <laughs> so I have to eat my words now. Dead Knight went for brood spawning broods. He's got brood spawn, no energy, and uh, adrenal. I don't you probably like called that, but he he went for brood spawn right away, right off the bat, so I yeah, was wrong. That that's how you that's how really how you push that Colossus. So Abra right now does not have radar, and Sanya White is deep behind the Aces comp. This could be deadly. This is totally a warp trick. 
Now, I think he's a bit wide. He needs to cut in. They they know something's up. They are backing now. But will uh, it be is, soon enough? I think it's it was too wide. He was could, too wide. No, I, the glasses will come in here. It could potentially engage the levy, but it's going to be risky. I think they're going to turn this into farm. So Verf does have charges. Yeah, they're there's going for no, the shield. There's no heart and shield in Fig Jam. I remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. Double, double shield recharge, though. I don't I don't see this doing anything. Yep. Paces his case cleanly. I agree, it was a little wide. He could have cut in earlier. Yeah, yeah that was... It, it, it's, it's hard for him. We have the advantage of seeing that Farm would not have seen him, but he probably was worried about being spotted by Farm. But really, I mean, the guard had to be the, the the target there, or or I mean, guard or support. But the the support, there's two of them. They cannot help the guardian. If they could really get on the guardian with a warp trick, they have to be thinking, you know, this, this oh. we will win the mid after that. Getting a good push on Fig Jam in the mid. Yeah, he stayed a little bit too long. This is gonna end up being a farm advantage here for Red Alert, if anything. They see that there's no warp trick except for the the levy over pushed on, or not the levy the void ray over pushed on the bottom, and um, their chance to catch up in the bottom. So Sanic does have radar here, although he might not have the range to be able to see all the ships in the base. Either way, they know there's not a warp trick. Definitely not going to be a warp trick when you can see just about every ship on the field. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, Red Alert's been scanning pretty consistently. The VC has a scan. Red Alert's going back here. They were going back after their farming to, to heal up. And Aces didn't go back. Only Fig Jam has gone back to upgrade on this push. And he's now worked out. Dead Knight has taken a lot of damage as Guardian. He is below 5,000 health. And he's staying well, well far back. They do not want any sort of warp tricky nonsense here. Yeah, he's well, up there for support, but he's not really going to be even able to pick up much for him. And this time around, Sanya and Crackshot as Voidray versus Voidray are basically a dead heat for farm. Whereas last game, it seemed like Sanya took the farm advantage at this point. Yeah, I think Crack might have been a little rusty. Sanya had played one game and, and was pretty confident playing Void on Void and Crack maybe needed to get his his feet under him there. Well, if if we look at the void builds, Crackshot is built for DPS. Sonya is more so built for farm actually right now. Well, yeah, and farm exactly, and denial. And they yeah, and they're exactly even, so they they both had the opportunity to pick the exact same upgrade, but they did not. I, th I think if this goes mid late game, this could be very challenging for Red Alert, as uh, they they have two very competent support players, and they also have a guardian that could parasite the Void Ray. Yeah, the guardian. It's not exactly the same as the lockdown for the, that the BC would offer. Uh, yeah, well, and Crack may have a Crack shot may have a chip on his shoulder after last game. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's not going to be out beam speeded this time. No, yeah, it's an interesting and, late game matchup because yeah. uh, the Overlord has high damage potential, and and the Leviathan has high damage potential. Whereas the Guardian, it's it's a little more of a, a map control ship, a siege ship with the broods, and the battle cruiser. It depends on how uh, how fast forward builds that battle cruiser. Well, it's, you know, damage against which type of ship, right? The Guardian will be very strong against the, the Battlecruiser and the, the Colossus in the mid, especially just as the game goes on, which, you know, so far we haven't... We've seen Warp Tricks, and we will be seeing another Warp Trick coming up very soon. This time around, though, does Abra see it? He not see yet. It. No, Abra still does not have radar. Abra ah. don't radar. This is not... That good. Oh, there we go. He's in behind that levee. Yeah, he's in good position now. The battle is working. not warping. They should have warped by now. 
Here comes the battle cruiser first. They can wait for that second blink. Okay. Here comes the tanks. You could tell though Why that he didn't use. Why is fast forward going that way? <laughs> well, if they had their dreadnought there, they no, really they're not. Harbor. They're not going for this. You could tell when he didn't use his second blink to blink in front of them. They were just. This is just a push. They were not. They're not committing. Riddler's not committing. Blackout. Blackout. Fast forward. Oh, blocked out. On Beam forward. on fast Riders forward. Delta. But look at Not this. Watch over the counter turn here because he's Seven thousand life. That much damage. Six thousand. He might use it. Watch this, yeah. Five thousand. Counter turn here. Four thousand. Fast forward is clear. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't counter turn. They're just well, on the tank. Nico should get safe, the safe counter turn. Like up into a. Abra needs a. Abra is four thousand life. Focus up. Yeah, Zebra's on them. It's oh, yeah, the void rage being there with them. Aber taking a lot of damage. Aber sent a 1,500. Oh, Sonya. 1,000. Oh, the cloak. Focus He's back up. To get the kill. I think Sonya should have uh, done that earlier. Whoa. That's so close. Very hot engage. I think Sonya could have. He could have done damage earlier and made that uh, bigger advantage for Red Alert. Red he waited. For a little bit now. Excellent push by Red Alert. Great defense by Aces. Both teams almost come out with the kill. And the, the, the game is, st is still largely even in terms of score. If they had gotten the, the warp trick in earlier, maybe, I mean, they, that could very easily have been a kill. Yeah, it, it would have totally changed the game if, if uh, all Red Alert's players warped at the same time on the Void Ray. If they warped early, they would have, they would have killed Abra, uh, very likely. I'm not sure if they had realized that Abra had already picked up Blackout. They might have suspected it because of his build. It seemed like they were a little a little shy and they were they were feeling it out. Sonya focusing heavily on deny in the side lane, now warping back, maybe to set up another warp trick. I think it would be a good idea for him to to keep keep aces on their toes. Oh, here goes fast forward. Fast forward is setting this time. Although Sonya is pushing out on the bottom side. Fast forward. Abra, is well, I mean, they see him on just the map. They don't even need the the radar here. The Leviathan. Now they're just using OBFs to keep vision on the sides. Yeah, and Sonya has chosen instead to clear out the siege in the middle. Broods to level 7. Ace is slowly backing up here. They they ride a little bit on some broods that that Knight put down there and now they're they're continuing their retreat. In, in this situation, Red Alert uh, needs to get the black out. That's going to tremendously help them out. Train Sanic needs farm. He might be able to get here, but also being very careful not to get into a bad position against Crackshot. Red Dog going back, picking up feedback. Sonny oh. White has 200 upgrade on Blink. That is quite a bit. Eight radius. Sonny likes them Blinks. Them Blinks, though. Then I still level seven now. Four twenty-five energy. Delta nine with intercept and corruption. Tanya's taking a very strong lead at this point over Kraken Farm. Same as last game, although. Uh. Coming in to get the feedback on Sonya. Yeah, Red Dog is diving a little bit there. Sonya is warping out again. We'll see if this becomes yet another warp trick. Sonya has a major lead over crack shot in the farm, or a very significant lead. Now, Aber does have radar. Red Dog's got the feedback and cloak. This is going to get become more and more difficult for, for Red Alert unless they get a kill soon. 
Looks like Aces is anticipating a warp on the bottom. Abra's far back on the right side. Hey, Abra can't actually see anything with radar if he's so far back. No, he can't see Sanya. He oh, he, yeah, Abra does not have radar. He sees Sanya now. He does have radar and he sees oh. Sanya on the map. Okay. But yeah. Sanya is already almost on top of him. Is, but he's got and blackout the warps ready. In. Abra's forced to retreat. This is, BC this warped is in really early. Think of the BC would have warped in Seattle. after the blink. Delta's just a little bit behind the other on that team. Intercepts oh. up. Okay, Sonya has blackout now. So anything can happen. This close to Red Alert or Ace's high side of the map, I'm guessing that they're just calling this a push. Yep. These uh, warp tricks by Red Alert, um, I think have been a major contributor to the difference in farm score between Sanya and Crackshot. Yeah, absolutely. It's something they didn't do in the first two games. Being more aggressive with warp, still, you know, the, the compositions are so different that, I mean, it's still an even score game and it's still, it's still very easily go either way, it's just the drop of a hat. Uh, and, and what we've seen from these two teams, even if they lose a ship, it can still go either way from the other team making a play to make it even. Here comes Severth and Ivan. Severth moving is on pushing again. very Guys. hard. Yeah, double uh, shield yeah. recharge. Field recharge will keep him very safe. His, he looks juicy from that burning, but right. he's fine. <laughs> However, with the heal time, this is going to give Red Alert a chance to farm a bit. Yeah, you almost wonder if Big Jam is better off not even worrying about his hull. Yeah, with double support, I mean, two two shield transfer ships, just go out there and yeah, play. He, he generally well, he doesn't, he just likes full. to pick a pre-charged shield. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even take full charge. And there's the frenzy. He's warping in on... We got stasis? No stasis. He's just looking for a feedback. Whoa. I was wondering if they were trying to catch him in a stasis and punish him. Yeah, they, they definitely would like to do that. Uh, they would like to f to feedback him and then imp him and then just have the... Here comes the MP. Warped. Nope. Warped. Warped, yeah, warped. Was try they, were, they were trying to stop it. Sanya pushes out normal this time. Well, the Broods are up to level 10, so they're not... I mean, they're not to be ignored, I guess. They're not deadly, but you can't... You can't discount their effectiveness. We're 9 radius on Sonya White's blink. I believe that's the 100 upgrade, right? That's, anyway. It's more that's than that. 400, 400 on blank. That's crazy. 400? 400. It starts out as 5 default if you look at Crackshot. Uh, well, actually, Crackshot's got 3. Crackshot's at 8 radius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're both 3 up, so that's 200 each. 200 each, I believe. I believe the default radius is, is uh, 5. 5, right. So wouldn't. Crackshot, if it ups by 1.5 each upgrade, Crackshot's on the 100 mineral upgrade and yeah, Sanya's on the 200. On, I think they're both on the 100, right? But Sanya. Sanya's one up. This is 9, also. His, no? his is 100, yeah, okay. Oh no, they're both at 8. Oh, it's so kind of weird. Nine. Yeah, it, so like, I, keep, I click on the different ships and for a second it'll say 8, but Sanya oh. is actually 9. All right, so I can tell you now, since uh, Crackshot's at base, he is on the 100 upgrade. Is he? Now we're just having surreal arguments about blink radius. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's important in this game. Oh, yeah. Well, it is interesting, though, because I agree with you. I clicked on different ships, and it said 9 once, and it said 8 once. I think it's just also a sign that, that we've now been streaming for, for three hours, some of us, that you know, <laughs> we're just looking at these numbers like, it's not an 8 or a 9. <laughs> So I, I will click on Crackshot, and then I'll click on Sonny White sometimes, mm -hmm. and then his blink will still say 8, but it is actually 9. Interesting. 
Let me go to your side blast now up to 1800. The, and the teams are, are generally doing what you expect them to do, so I think that's also part of the casting, right? I mean, we've got Blackout and EMP on Abra with 550 energy. Delta 9 has basically every spell except for warp for the levy. Sonya White. Sonya White has dumped the beam. He has 10 shields. 14 so beam at 22 beam speed. They're looking for something right here. And so he's standing at top. Yep. Now he's going to warp in and, and black out. Absolutely. He pushed out top and he kind of showed himself to, uh, to crack on purpose. And he's and then trying to and eat uh, the imp. I think he's probably asking his team, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? He's like, no, we're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm wondering about is on the Overlord, right? You know, a very strong response to Broodlords for the Overlord can just, just be the Sionic Shockwave, the ultimate. Um, and Amigo Deer has not really gone that route, it's focusing more on the 2100 damage side blast. But I, I'm wondering, you know, just in terms of, you know, maybe just pushing Severf up to maybe try to get on that Arbiter. Uh, maybe maybe Amigo Deer should be picking up his uh, Sionic Shockwave here before these Broods get any bigger. Which they Could will. Be, with... Although, I was saying, you watched in that last push out with his one shot Muta, he took care of them pretty quickly. My guess would be when the broods get up to 15 to 20, he may be more concerned with them. Yeah, when, I get, when the energy they're... is up and the, the broods are stronger, they just get very hard to deal with. It's, it's... Oh, yeah. Broods... on Delta. Broods are strong when, they, when they're. Uh, Abra does not have make DMAT. So this is just a threat of a, of a imp and a blackout here. Very close game at the the 33 minute mark. Yeah, and, and Abra is still only on two spells at 30 minutes. I mean, that tells you how how much he has to respect what the other team's doing. You just gotta be able to. Shannon remains the lowest ship farm. You rotate them out every now and then. Interesting scan. Well, that's what's hard, right? At this point in the game, you want to get him farmed, but you can't expose him to a snipe. And sometimes it seems like the farm just don't come when you want it to. Right. <laughs> Aces all together on the top of the map facing right the composition. They, they kind of were letting the bottom lane be through. There wasn't much coming through anyway. And now they another, back to free. another benefit of the broods is is denying karma the other team's support ship. If you you know if you have somebody focusing the broods on their support, they can't farm as well. So we're coming up on a 35 minute mark here, game three. Yep. A basic die versus Red Alert is one to one, and uh, Red Alert with a 500 farm lead, holding decent position. Avra went back with 300 minerals and picked up, I believe, 10 shields rather than D-match. Seems strikes me as an interesting choice. Yeah, Point. that's... It's a um, good choice. He's, uh, he, okay with, he's okay on um, EMP Blackout, and his ARB is okay on Feedback and Cloak. Parasite now in the Guardian. Two more and broods on the Guardian, too. Observer just kind of chilling at base. But like you said, when they move into DMAT and boost, especially boost on those broods, that may make a big difference in this game. Boost on the broods, back here or Amigo is farmed up. The, uh, Red Dog is a very good Arbiter player. If, if he gets boost or stasis, that that could be the one of the, one of the winning factors uh, if, if he's with the Void Ray or broods. Yeah, last game when he had stasis, he put it to really good use. This is a game, the situation I was talking about at the beginning, where the, the Colossus just really doesn't like pushing into Broodlords the same way it does against Siege Creeps. They really kind of wait for Severf to get up there to tank all the, the Brood damage. Yeah, and this is where the, the Dread really shines, right, versus Broods, as opposed to the Colossus. Ivan went back to just to pick up, I'm pretty sure, his ultimate. Let's see if he buys it. Yep, there it is. He's gonna whoop out. Red Dog is cloaking his team. They're, they're looking for a move. They're pretending to be the sharks. 
Well, but, at, at any time, and this is now when we're getting into the 40 minutes, like both teams are looking to take advantage of a split. Neither team really wants a ball versus ball fight. Both teams want the, te the other team to be split up and try to. Dive on Amigo, dear. Delta backs out. Okay. Taking some heavy wow. damage, though. Wow. That side blast is very, Delta. very strong. Delta Whoa. Delta. Whoa. Lance. Oh, 3,500. Oh, you're getting impeded. Another, another Lance or two that would have been in danger is getting impeded. A big push from Red Alert. They really flex their muscles there. Uh, Aces High actually has the late game with the Brood Lords and, and all the denial. Uh, there's no need to really play so aggressive, especially no D net on for the levy. Yeah, they really yeah. they need the D net at some point here. That I'm push though too was without the void ray. Yeah. I'm surprised that the Red Alert hasn't hasn't utilized the void more to warp. Although Aces have played far more carefully, they haven't been up on Red Alert's towers as much. Here Crack, is Crack is now up to nine blink radius. With 12 beam. Red Dog still on two spells, cloak and feedback. Tanya has gone back early. He's now pushing out on the top side. He might be looking to set a war point, but Abra's there. Abra sees him. Well, Whoa. Right at him. Oh, I say maybe he just goes right at him. Who cares yeah. if you see me? My team's coming. <laughs> hello, hello, Raven. I am the Void Ray. Would you like to end me, please? There's two Misty oh, MPs. Yeah. I think like, you you pressure this. After two Misty MPs, your team warps in. You force him to black out. Brood's especially threatening bottom since, tower. No, I say especially since that wasn't much of a threat on bottom tower. I I feel like they could have pressured that those double Misty MPs a little bit more. Donnie White has gone Purifier to help with uh, Denial. And now he's going after Crackshot. Oh, they blinked in bottom, but I don't think anything's happening mm -hmm. down here. Oh, Crack's Plug Bane's kicked in. He'll run away. Well, Andy can Cloak, too. Uh, void versus Void at this point in the game, it's... Without a support ship to help you, nothing's going to happen. Crack oh, no, Crack's making a play. Yeah, he's working up top. The Overlord and the BCR are a little oh, Frenzy. Here Frenzy. The Intercept. Amigo Deer is the target. Beam on Amigo Deer. Amigo Deer is 2,000. Amigo Deer goes down. Crackshot is low energy, though. They could get a rebound. But look, Anya White is on the Guardian. Yeah. If yeah. So Guardian's it, gonna, someone's it may gonna be die. a trade, yeah. It might be a trade, but at least it's a... Uh, Dead Knight, 3,000, 2,000. On the oh, Arbiter. Oh, blackout. Blackout. No blackout. I'm not still alive, though. No Dead Knight is still alive. Red Dog is still alive. No that was trade. a clean kill on Amigo Deer. Well, that's the danger when you get to this point in the game, when you, you just can melt before anyone can react. Oh. One thing I do notice is Crack Shot's energy is at like 500 on the Void Ray. It, it is fairly low if he gets denied once. And uh, Sonya White has 2.06 speed versus Crack Shot's 1.96 speed. Warp in, intercept, Severf is the target for right now. Yeah, that so Warp in. 9,000, oh, yeah. 8,000, 7,000. They're back. The frenzied levy Ivana's with popped the... invulnerability shield. So the frenzied levy with the with the coordinated warp in on the void ray, was, that was clearly very deadly. It's the corruption now. The corruption lowers. Yeah, yeah corruption. Armor. And then let the void ray use that corruption. Oh, yeah. Now without the Overlord, Red Alert kind of doesn't have as much of a defense in the middle against the Brood. The Overlord was a, was playing a pretty key role in in taking those Broods out with his Mutas, and also with its... Uh, well, and he was their second uh, highest farm ship. I mean, almost double some of the other players. It, yeah, more than, more than double of Sanic, certainly, in particular. But also, that's uh, a big part of their their DPS. Amigo Deer had the the side blast, which really would have it as the game went on punished Delta Nine. And and now, now the question is how, you know, are they looking at last game again, where they just have a hard time dealing with the Leviathan? Yeah, which which ship do you try to stop? You try to stop the Levy, or you try to stop the Void? But you try, you stop one, the other one's going to get you. So. 
Not to mention the brutes. Big chain locked down. His thermal lance is 1800. Brutes are at 14. Sixteen tentacles on Delta Nine. I'm very curious why three players on on Ace is higher, three shotting uh, the Guardian and two supports. They don't need no stinking farm. <laughs> Nineteen beam on crack shot. Stasis on Red Dog. Eighteen broods on Dead Knight. This is this is starting to get very, as you were saying, this yeah. is getting increasingly difficult for Red Alert. Yeah, Red Alert's at a point when they they no longer can think about trying to counter what Aces is doing. They've got a, they've got to almost force a play that's favorable to them. It's it's never going to be a hundred percent favorable, but there's got to be something they do that they have a slight advantage and they just force it and see if they can get away with it. Whether that's take a tower or have a blackout play, but they're they're just gonna, as this goes on, they're gonna run out of options with the broods and the, and everything. Broods and Levy and the Void Ray and the Raven and the boost. Yeah, the broods at 18, they do a lot of damage. Yeah. That's, and he's got five of them up. Two of them up. Oh. Yeah, 18 broods are gonna take that tower down real soon. Yeah, they're either, if they protect it this time, which is gonna be close, they may not protect it next time. So they gotta think about their own type of a play. Turn. Frenzy. And Nuke. That's just for a blackout. On Fig Jam. All, all that's good for is a blackout at this point. It's gonna hit. Take his shields on less than half, <laughs> which are instantly recharged. <laughs> 240 shields a second on the Arbiter. Yeah, the only, the only benefit of that nuke I saw was an extra blackout. Red Alert could potentially pull this off. Uh, Ace is high as Void Ray still has 500 energy, uh, and, and he, he could definitely use Chrono Rift versus either Void to, to uh, to dislodge the beam on the on the target. Oh yeah, and we've seen last game too. Sonya made a great play, one on versus one on crack shot, but um, they also didn't have a guardian last time, which is just assists in the the punishment when you're down a ship. Yeah, Dead Knight's been playing fairly safe. He sits in the back of their of their formation there and just drops broods. Well, looks like Void Raid blinks in on Severf. Severf is going. No intercept right. yet. Corruption. That's the corruption. There it is. Corruption with the Void Raid. Bioplasmid. The... Severf down to 6,000. Not a full commitment on Severf. Not until the side of the there. In this, in this conflict right there, Sanya was unable to, to do much damage on and the right side. That's the, the ticket, right? Like, he either needed to help out or go make his own play, and he didn't do either of those. And Crackshot's on the top tower now. Looks like both of Red Alert's towers will go down. Red Dog has stasis, so they can easily just stasis the Void Raid and kill him. Yeah, to see um, Red Alert getting sucked into trying to counter what Aces can do, and you, at, at this point you can't. You just they they don't have the ships. They don't they don't have what you need to do to counter the other team. You got to make your own play. And Aces here has built a 1,200 farm lead. That's almost insurmountable. I would say it could go either way, because uh, the Void could overcommit on, on uh, Aces High, uh, or even Delta 9. We, we've seen him almost die from overcommitting once at the beginning. Uh, but, but yes, uh, Aces High definitely holds the advantage if they, if they just play it safe. That's all they have to do, really. Yeah, I think right here, 
before Aces gets back, I'd love to see Red Alert try to make some sort of a play instead of just farming. I mean, if all Red Alert does here is farm, and then back when Aces high pushes, there's no way they're going to protect their towers. That's my prediction. They barely skated away protecting their towers before Aces high upgraded. Yeah, the shields are still recharging there. If the shields don't get a chance to fully recharge, then... They might go down next push. Yeah, well, especially considering that Aces has um, had a chance to upgrade their damage in the interim. Yep, crack at 19 beam. The Brood's at 19. Yeah, Sorry, Brood's both, still at 18. Both towers are going down this time. Certainly, certainly the point where, where Ace is high is starting to, to flex their muscles more and more. The 18 Broods, the 525 energy Leviathan, and crack shot now at 700 energy. Is Sanya... He's gonna, yeah, and even Seeker Missile. I mean, that's kind of the big indication that you're winning pretty Battle heavy. station is going down, <laughs> 4,000, 3,000. Oh. This is going to be a this is going to be a slow back by Aces with a turn. No, nope, they they don't quite commit to it. No, they're going to Aces is going to turn here in about as soon as this invuln is done, Ace is going to turn around on him. Head drops Broods. They're getting ready to turn. There's the turn, but Red Red Lord kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did too. So if I saw it, it was obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Crackshot is going for the other tower as the Broods harass Red Alert. Yeah, that's going to be the danger. Good job by Sanya holding off Crackshot on that tower. Sanya but... is flying around with his charge on all the time. He's just ready to engage. He has so much energy that he can cast charge and have his energy regen ready for the next cast. Crackshot has upgraded his Easy. energy to 700, so that's good. Ace's uh, Siege Creep here is helping them now too, and they've just got such an advantage. I think Red Alert's using all their resources to save this tower. It's, it's such a situation where a single blackout doesn't even necessarily give them the play they need. They can't pop in vulnerability, they're, they're going for more. the tower now. Yeah. Danek has been sitting on blackout, he's, he's neglected to use it. He really hasn't created any opportunity. He's been using it as a safeguard, but he just hasn't, he hasn't deployed it. Yeah. yeah, the first battle station has now gone down. Red Alert is now down one ship and one tower. Looks like they're looking for the perfect uh, blackout, but uh, they're not causing any disruptions continuously looking for it, right? Yeah, yeah and they're just yeah, and they're taking damage in the meantime, so Aces is even less worried about them pushing out because they're already damaged. So even if they do push out, Aces just turn on them when you get about mid-map. Halfway down the map, Aces will turn around on them and push back. If Santa could use the Blackout on the Colossus, or maybe the Raven or the Arbiter, if he can get to them, or even the Void Ray, just to throw it, just to get something. Yeah, that's true, but do you see any Aces high ship with more than uh, 50 damage, even on their shields? I no, don't they're, staying, they're staying well back, <laughs> they're doing a good job. They're all 100%. Yeah, Delta Mine is 22,000 life and regions, rapid regions for 27,000. So and there's just a lot of regeneration on this team all, all around. They've increased their farm lead to about 1,800. Yeah, and Aces is way farmed up. Crack has 1,200 farm. Aces, uh, Abra has, has 1,000 farm. One thing I note, though, is Abra is alone. Red Dog has gone back to the base. This would be a decent time to try and make a move, but it looks like all of Aces are going back. Yeah, Red Alert, though, they got to make a play. They can't just farm as Aces goes back and then collapse back into their base. And, and Sanya wants to. It's just a matter of, yeah. it's, it's hard to recognize these situations and, and it to is, get in exactly on time, right? This, yeah, upgrade, but... this upgrade is very decisive because of just how much, how many minerals uh, both Abra and Crackshot and Dead Knight 
Red Dog, how many they were able to accumulate and save the amount of, of increase in their power relative to what they were just a second. Here comes another one. Interesting. Yeah, this, this farm and then Beam on Delta 9. Oh, Beam on Red, Red Dog. Red Dog! Oh, 1,400! Oh, 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 Red Dog goes down! All right, well, that's, that's Fast forward, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Fast shield. forward is dead. Diet could have threw D-Mats at the very Yeah, D-Mats are fast. Oh, oh. Invulnerability shield is popped. Sonya White. Yeah, DMAT the VR. Yeah, now the VR is in trouble. Sonya White blinks the 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 lance. He's got a DMAT him. Why is he not DMAT him? It looks like they'll just gauge. Wow, that was a good a move there. Kill exchange. Red Dog goes down. Fast forward goes down. It's ex almost exactly equal score change. I mean, both ships had ex almost exactly 800. Uh, it's a losing lockdown for Cloak. Here's the siege. And everything else, because uh, Red Dog did just pick up every single Arbiter this tower's, spell. This tower is <laughs> going to go down. I, I cannot see them saving this tower. 7,000 7, on the tower. Sonic needs to use that uh, DMAT more. He, he did not use it that, that yeah, often. Yeah, and that BC, I feel like he could have saved that. Well, I don't um, know, save the BC, he could have kept him alive longer to allow his team to make a counter play. But this is the really the perhaps the first time Sunny White has had any breathing room in this game. Now really just purely working around Abra's Raven. They, that secret yeah. will do it. But but uh, you know Red Dog is down. That was a big loss for Ace's High. Yeah, no more cloak. He was kind of key in the cloak there. Ace's High has to stay together now, and they're totally relying on Abra for energy now. Red, Red Dog is. In my opinion, probably Ace's High's best support player, and, and that was a big move. I agree. Sort of an 18 range with the gods, and there, there is no dread, so uh, Fig Jam won't take any damage to Hardened, and Delta can just regenerate, but the, the Siege really keeps the, the Broodlords under control. So Dead Knight can't just win the game by killing the Mothership so long as server for sitting out here with siege mode on. Yeah, Abra has to be careful too. If he throws a blackout, take down Tever, then he leaves himself very vulnerable to Sanya White. Yeah, and he's creeping out away from his own base. Agreed. It looks like Sanya wants Abra to throw the blackout so he could blink in. He's just waiting for it. He wants to dodge it and kill Abra. I'd be surprised with Aces the way that they're sitting in this game if they make a play before up upgrading again. My guess is they do one more round of upgrades before they make a big play. Yeah, they, they're comp, they could still win this. They just need to keep harassing uh, Red Alert. They, they have OBS as well, so so yeah, they should just continue to play it safe. The, the simple fact is that Fig Jam and Delta are both so high in HP and regeneration that Sonya can dodge an imp, but nothing is going to go down in the time of just one imp, with the possible exception of Dead Knight. That's really, you know, the, the target somewhere in here would either be Abra or Dead Knight. Yeah, what, what I see is Abra, he's got 575 energy. Um, with the Void Ray and, and the Raven against Abra, uh, there's a significant chance that they could kill the Ace's High's Raven. That would break the game. That would be the play, and then can they get away with it? Can they get out after they do that? That would be... If they do, that yeah. would be huge. Yeah. yeah, the other target would be Dead Knight, the Guardian. If they could take one of those two ships out, it would give them a lot of breathing room. Delta getting yeah. really close on, on Severf, just able to walk in and drop Corruption. Well, yeah, Severf, I think, got a little bit too far away from the base here. He's not getting healed. Well, he's not damaged yet, but I don't think he'd be healed if he's that far away. I think he's creeping out too much. It's always a strange thing when 18 gauze can in siege mode is not really enough to keep a leviathan back. Hey, I, I also noticed one thing about the, the Colossus on Red Alert's team. He's going like 19 shield. In this case, I would go high energy and then try and go invo and then potentially try and run down someone. Now Ace's here is going back for upgrades. Uh, they're going back with a lot of money. Crackshot's got 1,300 to spend. Big Jam has 1,700. 
They're going to come back very strong. Yeah, they're 2,400. Oh, sorry, 2,400 over farm now. And all of Aces players have more than 1,000 score, whereas Game Red Alert is still two players less than 1,000. <coughs> We get a pause. Who's Abra? Is that the team? Do, Abra do is the uh, Raven on the blue team. They, you know, they've been playing for an hour now. They have to piss. So yeah, anybody, you say anybody on the team can call a timeout, or you got to go back to base. No, Abra. Abra's the captain. So the captain can call a timeout. Yeah. And then you only get three a game. Oh. <laughs> Two. And I left my mic on. Alright, so let's let's just do a quick rundown. So, uh, Fig Jam has just about everything. His lance is at 2,000 damage, 16 shield, 7 lasers, 7 missiles, even some escorts, because, you know, why not? Delta... Tons, tons of energy, too. <laughs> yeah, it's the 775 energy that, that really makes a big difference here. Delta, 600 energy. He's had everything for pretty much the entire game, up to 15 on Battle Storm and 9 range. Abra 12 shield, 13 laser. Seeker still hasn't, I think, picked up his, uh, you know, last few spells, but, you know, what what exactly does he accomplish with PDD here, other than maybe mildly inconveniencing Yvonne? Dead Knight, uh, 18 broods, 7 needles. He, you know, he, he could go back to two-shot maybe here if they think that they're not going to seal the deal here in the next five minutes. If I was Abra here, I would go all shields. All right, because... <laughs> what? <laughs> If I was Abra, I would go all shields. Make sure that I make sure that I do not die. I guess so. I, I would also get more energy if I were Abra because if he misses once uh, with the blackout uh, and, and Crackshot does not have Chrono Rift, right? So if if Abra misses once, then that could cost uh, them the game because the the, the enemy Void Ray could go double charge Purifier and suck all his energy out. Yep. Uh, another thing I notice is the Dreadnought on Red Alert has like 18 range sieged. Dead Knight's Broods on Aces High is range 17. Uh, Dead Knight can match the range and, and increase harassment. Abra is saying ready. Sounds like they are back. Not sure if... Uh, nope, Yvonne, Red Alert has also used this opportunity to take a quick break. Thankfully, our our, uh, our observers are, are back now. This is quite a situation. I think I I mean it sounds strange. I would pick up PDD at this point if you know why not. Uh, he has nine hundred eighty minerals, but uh, yeah, I think getting just some more shields, maybe even like just a little bit more armor in case he gets some fighters on him at some point. You know, when you're in the base here, they do at this point do 23 damage. So if yeah, he's not on one shot. Typically these ships, the Terran ships especially, and the Protoss ships who have hull and armor, they don't get hull and they favor shields in the meta currently. But but late game, it's it's just worth it to put a little bit into hull, you know, just in case. Right, so just, just, you know, do you at some point, will you at some point need to actually go, you know, dive inside the uh, the command center, in which case, you know, just a little bit of hole can actually make a bit of a difference if you really start taking some damage. Of course, it's going to do nothing to the Void Ray or, or any of the real big threats. It's just a quality of life upgrade, really. PDD would be good for the Brood Lords. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, minus the Siege, but otherwise, yeah, it's going to help out. No guardian shield yet for a spell. It would be interesting if there was a spell that would strip shields, strip all shields from a ship. Like, like and an then it would make whole actually like useful. Like in Legacy, is that what you're saying? Uh, is there about? one? In I'm not sure if there's on one the, in Legacy. There is. On there the is Koa. one in, yeah, the Koa in Legacies. I think there is one in, um, in the European 3.1 version as well. How about if you infest a raven and use overcharge or whatever it is? <laughs> 
but very complex. Yeah, but uh, I mean, what, how are they going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to do it to the zone team. Their teammate, no, Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get your teammate to get get your teammate to get a traitor, then infest him, then use overcharge on the other team. No, because the interesting with that infested raven when you cast the uh, the spell on it to remove it removes not only all shields from all the units but also all energy and energy regen for a certain amount of time. So it's the one thing that can take the shields down on the base instantly. If you're going for a base snipe. So we're now only. Uh... Less than like what 21 hours from the time for the ECL versus DPA game tomorrow. Yeah, I need to sleep, man. <laughs> When's that gonna happen? I think it's supposed to be 10 o'clock Eastern. I think so, either 9 or 10. One of those two times. And right now it's noon in Moscow on Saturday, the 11th. Yeah, how, late or, it, how late is it in Eastern now? Aces has ready to fall. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready East to Coast, fall asleep. 4 a.m. Yeah, it's 4 a.m. for me right now. I'm ready to fall asleep. Red Raider is pulling some Sun Tzu shit, you know, like, wear your enemy out, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're extending this pause. It's working for me. <laughs> I think they might be waiting for the stream to catch up so they can see <laughs> what... <laughs> Yeah, what, well, they something. know what they have ups. I mean, they have everything because everyone, it's an hour into the everyone game, has everyone thousand. has everything. Everyone has a thousand farm score. That they've got all that they want. Yeah. But but they're going to look at like the very uh, fine details, you know, such as uh, I I mean, so they could use this this pause to their advantage to look at what the the enemy ships are lacking, right? Which would be nothing. I mean, <laughs> no, no, like uh, Ace's High's Ravens lacking energy. Uh, their Void Ray should really get Chrono Rift against another good Void Ray. And Purifier. And yeah. Purifier, absolutely. Well, he has yeah. 1,200. We, we, we don't know what he's about to spend it all on. Yeah. Yeah, the pause was well timed. It was before they upgraded. <laughs> this is, so they're, they're this was the Ace's High metagame. Right? Pause before you spend on upgrades. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. We give uh, Red Alert a hard time for expending this pause, but Aces is the one who asked for it. Oh, they're taking advantage. They're saying, no, we're not ready, though. So we're going to cut to another commercial. <laughs> well, should we go back to a discussion of uh, what the Aces High theme song should be? <laughs> Like to, to thank the 26 <laughs> viewers we still have through the pause. So, do you think that with a blackout, aces can't seal the deal, or do you think with a with one good blackout could? I mean, is this a, still a situation where Red Alert can turn this game around? That way, can certainly turn this around. You you only need the Raven and the Void Ray to turn this around for for either team, and, and both teams uh, contain that. Yeah, my only concern is that Red Alert has shown a lack of urgency on the last two pushes. Like understanding that they're losing this game, and they just allowed Aces to back up, upgrade, push back out, take a tower, take two towers, and then back up and upgrade without ever trying to force force a confrontation that might be beneficial to them. Now, granted, Aces has been playing pretty safe.
I don't, I don't, I don't know what my comp freezing in one to two minutes means. It's not, it's not cold in Russia in the winter, is it? I don't know, it probably is, man. It's usually cold most places, right? It's not cold in Russia in the winter? <laughs> well, it's... I mean, there's different seasons in, in different parts of the world, but I would assume it is cold in Russia. Yeah, it depends on where Sanic lives. I'm trying to calculate uh, the void ray damage uh, of both VRs right now, since, since we're not doing anything. <laughs> It is currently 30 degrees Fahrenheit in Russia. It's Which not terribly warm. Or at least in Moscow, I mean, Russia is so big, different places can have different temperature. Yeah, so we have reports for our viewers that Sanex computer is freezing. Literally freezing. Well, I mean, that doesn't really make sense because <laughs> computers can... We'll stand like uh, extreme cold, right? Usually, if it's overheating, it's gonna underperform. But I don't know. It's it's not like a car. Not 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 exactly like a car, right? Yeah, definitely not. Or one would hope not. Especially uh, the, not with the, my luck with cars. There, there's far less moving parts Ooh, on the computer. We have a ready from Ivan. Three, two, one from Avra. We are back in the game. And we've restarted. <laughs> and up one shot does pick up Purifier. Does not pick up Chrono Rift. You don't need no Chrono Rift. That's not how he rolls. Red Alert not really pressing for farm here. No PDD from Abra. Although Ivan has, has gone down to the bottom of the map, but he's going back now. 900, en 900 energy on Fig Jam. That's a 900 energy Colossus. With the Purify, you have to think that they're thinking this this is the end of the match here, right? They would hope so. I would be extremely cautious. Anything can happen. Tempest's coming in. This is this is a good timing for push. Severf is up in siege. 18 range, 20 dats, 1950 damage a shot. Outranges the Tempest, they just get vaporized. Broods are 15 range. He significantly outranges the Brood Lords. Sonny on 23 beam, crack to cracks 19. But Sonny only has 16 shields. Only 16 shields, I guess. How often do you say that? Sanic casting Irradiate on the Colossus to, to control Broodlings, although the Colossus is actually not close to the Broods right now. And Red there is a dive on Sephir. No invulnerability shield. Again. They Links haven't the really him. They're choosing instead to continue to farm up. Pushing it again on Sephir. Delta getting real close. No corruption yet. Although... Sanya White has started now to completely deny all farms getting out of the base. He's setting up uh, Chrono Rift under the mothership, and when Red Alert launches fighters in, Sanya takes the opportunity to use Energy Nova to kill all the farms. He has to be very careful, though. Traitor yeah, status would be instant loss. Oh, yeah. Especially underneath the mothership. It, it could be that it's, it's more sensitive under the mothership. So Sanya's taking a break from that to attack the levy. He's forcing Abbott to come over. 12,000 life on Delta. Beam on Subvert. It's not taking damage very quickly. Blackouts are ready. The invulnerabilities are ready. The frenzy is ready. It's a lot of tension. Everyone is waiting for some sort of commitment, some sort of move to be made, some opportunity to present itself.
this is a game that can be very, very stressful for Red Alert, this situation, where, you know, when you, you go 10, 15 minutes where you maybe feel like you're losing, you can see the score, you know, you're, you're now down 3,000 farm. I just want to go over the damage. Uh, Crackshot is doing about 1,812 damage a second. Uh, Sonny White is doing over 2k damage a second. Uh, if, if my calculations are correct. Actually, he's doing more now. But Abra doesn't want to overcommit and get too close to the, the Siege and the Void Array and waste the blackout. It's a lot of tension in this final moment, which does decide who goes on to the finals. Yeah, and if you notice, Red Dog still has an Observer flying around up here near the Guardian. Prevents Sonya White from diving in on that Raven, or trying to make a play on the Raven. It's interesting that Dead Knight really doesn't very aggressively try to land the Parasite. He has the Parasite, but he, I don't think he's... I don't think he's cast it once the game. He did. He threw it on the Dreadnought at one point. Okay. I believe the, the lowest risk for Ace's High is, is to increase uh, range on, on the Broodlords for Dead Knight. He will at least match or even surpass uh, Severf unless he upgrades. Delta 9 is now huge. Delta 9 at 2,000. Is it 26,000 life? I think Severf is working on uh, 10 shields, perhaps, so I don't think he is working on another range upgrade anytime soon. Dodges another imp, but still no no opportunity is, is presenting itself. They can't expend their ultimates and have Sonny White dodge one of them. Ooh, so Verf unseizes. Everything pushes in. Redler showing a little bit of impatience here. They're going to try to push out. Well, it's also a matter that the, there's only a few ships that really can do anything with the, the siege mode. The question is whether this creates an opportunity for the broodlords. It's really the main threat with leaving the siege mode. Delta Nine is diving in. Oh, both in vulnerability shields pop. Yvonne pushing out. He's Delta ten thousand. Oh, he's got the blackout. Blackout on Subverse. Blackout, blackout on Yvonne. And blackout so, on Crackshot. So on his blackout, I believe, uh, his own teammate. I, I believe, because Sonya dodged Abra's, it looked like. In any case, both blackouts are now down, both vulnerability shields are down, Frenzy is down, um, and Siege Mode is not up yet again to clear out these Broodlords. The Mothership is taking some damage. 2,000 now. 4,000 on the Mothership. Another few exchanges like that, and uh, in another half hour, we could actually see the mothership die. Got another 70 seconds, about a minute, for the blackouts to be back online. Ever pushing out, and Crackshot is Crackshot is fairly key to this campaign. If any of the Red Alert ships move fairly far beyond the base's shield beam, he can do a lot of damage to push it back. Command center down to twelve thousand now, or I'm sorry, well twelve thousand shields, thirty-five thousand total. Yeah, pushing. Letting, letting the, the Siege push back has let a lot more damage get onto this mothership, which, if it keeps up, I mean, it would be a, a sad way to Delta end the game. Delta is overcommitted. Delta now way overcommitted. He's taking a lot of damage. 8,000 8, on Delta. 
but the, the key mats, it's hard to, to seal the deal on him, especially since yeah. Sonny is out of shields. Back is up on both ravens. Siege mode coming out, not that it's necessarily going to make a difference here. I think Jam can just spam hard and shield as much as he likes. These guys taking so much farm this campaign. They're all up over 1500 score except for Dead Knight, he's already easily hanging back. And all of them have over a thousand minerals. The gem has 4,000 minerals to spend. Farm King. <laughs> Make sure I don't have something unusual happen here. Delta coming out with 26,000 life. Fig Jam just sitting on top of the mother. I can't even see what he's getting. Fig Jam's gone up to 30 rockets and has 28 shields. Just 27,000 total. He now almost has more than the mothership. Uh, <laughs> not quite. Not not quite there yet. Aber did now pick up PDD. Tanya White here. 925 in the tower. Yes. Tanya White is cloaked and going along the bottom of the map. Sanya is thirsty for a tower. Actually, Sanic is also going along top. I don't really know what the idea there is. Maybe I think he's trying to uh, distract the Abra a little bit. Yeah. Mind games here. It seems like, yeah, Sanya is now out of range, so Sanya should... The question is if, if Sanya picks off this tower, is, is that going to create an opportunity for Aces High to, to dive? Is this the moment they've been waiting for? They're just going straight for the mothership. Whoa! They need a deem at it. They gotta do it. There's oh my ready. lord. The mothership is at 25... 50,000. Oh. 15,000 shields. 10,000 shields. 9,000 shields. 5,000 shields. The warps are not out yet. The, the Colossus is going to be the first to warp. 18,000, 15,000. 14,000. Sonya's blocked out. They've warped in. Straverf dies. Mothership is 10,000. Sonya dies. <laughs> it, it was a total commitment. <laughs> and... The semi-finals have now ended, or, I mean, Sanic is still alive, but... Oh. Wow. What? <laughs> that was quite the ending. It was quite I... the play. I, I think if Sonic uh, warped in with Dima and, and such... Uh, it could oh, have if been. Sonic oh. had warped in and been able to black out whoever had warped back first, they would have had it. He would have got off some secrets, too. Uh, oh, he doesn't have secrets. Okay. That was that was a very interesting game. That was that was an incredible incredible ending to an incredible group of semifinal matches. Thank you once again to Greater Ninja, Pavetikano, and QQQ for, for casting this game with us, and thank you to all the players that have made this a enjoyable semifinal bracket to watch. We'll be back tomorrow with ECL versus DPA for the other half of the semifinal bracket. I hope to see you then. If you enjoyed the stream, do uh, consider following on Twitch and subscribing on YouTube. GG. See you next time.